and we're live. For all of your towels and towel accessories. Stick them in your propane barbecue. I kind of wish I had people that lived above or below me and they were hearing me scream that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I have people that live above me. I don't think they're too happy with me. I don't know, man. Maybe if you screamed more about towels, they would be. <laughs> you ever think about oh, that, Pedro? Just like once, be like, hey, man, maybe I That's need to. That's the thing. Uh, you need to up your towel screaming me, game. Do you, do you ever consider actually using a towel, Pedro? Seriously. <laughs> I used two today. What's your point? I don't believe you. I don't believe <laughs> did, you. Did you run out of toilet paper? <laughs> where, 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 where are your towels? In Canada? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid Canadian towels. Wait, they have towels in Canada? Yeah, they're made out of leaves and snow. Neat. Ladies and gentlemen, boys Held and girls, what's going on? Syrup. We just finished the pre-pre super shows, and this nightmare train is... Uh... Oh, we got to update the Twitch page. We're not Black Mesa. Nope. Somebody update Mr. Freeman! Quick. Quick. <laughs> Pedro, looking at you. Uh... Watch both of them. We're going to try to update it at one time. I mean, I'm there right now. All right. Here, okay. I'll end up doing it myself because <laughs> Jordan will just have to pass it. Free shows and there, and we're just chatting for now. Eventually, we'll be talk shows and podcasts, but until then, <laughs> we're just chatting. Uh, and done. All right. Boop. Hey, beautiful people. What's going on? Uh, yeah, this is the weird version of Black Mesa. It's like Black Mirror, but with more Pedro. With the GTA San Andreas style music going on in the background. <laughs> the pig will be arriving shortly. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's better than Welsh dragons. I you know what I would I would I would disagree. Those Welsh dragons are pretty slutty. Mm. Well, just because you speak dragon flaunting it all around, be like, yeah, I just had this great <laughs> chat with Mr. Dragon. I'm like I yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. His name is Dragon McDragonface. Okay. Was Sorceress. it a towel? Towel dragon. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> it's good to know at least one person does. <laughs> hey, it's a little early to be drinking. <laughs> no, it's too, it's too late. It's one thirty-five in the morning. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, it's man. Way too early to be drinking. <laughs> Oh, if you're just tuning in for the first time, this is not the pre-pre super chosen. Um, <laughs> we need to de Mario fi ourselves. There we go. Science. Da 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 da. <laughs> da dun dun. I never played Mario sixty four, man. Um, the re-release on the three DS was actually pretty good. Hmm. I think it, I'd really want the I experience played that of Unity trying to level one. Play, Before they like the, took uh, it down. The, the N64 with a Z button. That, that horrible, misconfigured, stabby controller. That, I was like, man, that'd make a weapon. I don't know about a good controller. It was an, honestly, like, it was an alright enough controller. Stupid little yellow buttons. <laughs> and the one analog stick in the middle. <laughs> Better than nothing, sweetheart. Better than nothing. <laughs> I mean, it well, made you, games playable. I mean, you could play... The Zelda game. I was like, oh, okay. That, that. Well, you, you, got, you got to remember too, like what what we're used to in terms of like console FPS controls. This is mm -hmm. a pretty recent invention. Oh yeah. I think it was like Siphon Filter, the first one that like had the the like the proper twin stick or whatever that we're used to. Sony, what have you done? <laughs> well, we. have more than this at 11, we definitely, all three of us had a um, blast from the past of, like, what default keyboard layouts oh, were for yeah. games in the 90s. <laughs> that was, yeah. like, what? That was the Wild West. There were no, no defaults. No, no, that, no, was, that, that wasn't even spring play. It's just like, that's unplayable. 
Like, you, you <laughs> genuinely cannot play the game in this configuration. And I remember you, you, that. You, you can't. There, no. There's, um, like like I said in the chair position, there's about a 10-minute period of you trying to figure out something that works. Um, Empty, that is awesome. So you could, like, play with two controllers. Uh, yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't. I never tried that. Hmm. Um. No, I'm pretty. I'm okay. pretty sure. I need like, a refill. I'll be back. I'm. I'm pretty sure that default control scheme assumed that you had like a, a flight stick. That game is clearly that was um again more on that eleven. I had, you know, twenty years later, I was like, yeah, I've had this experience. Oh right, right. Yep, I remember this. Um. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Nine, 1999 was twenty one years ago, man. It was, it was a different time. It was a different time, dude. I think I got it in like two thousand. I think it was 2000 when it came out. It was from Loki. Yep. Mm -mm. What was the first game of the mouse look? Uh, mouse look, uh, first game of the mouse look, uh... Hmm. Well, it, Quake? You know mouse look was not on by default in Quake? Sounds about right. Out of the box, like we didn't know better. We're like, oh, we, 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 in the rare occasion that we might have to look up or look down, we'll use the mouse look button. For I, th I think I think John was asking first PC game though. What was the first game with a mouse look? Uh, I think I think I think that that was actually Marathon. Okay. These things I would not. Well, define mouse look. Like mouse look left right. That would be like any. Mo Doom Seven well, before <laughs> Doom, before Wolfenstein. Uh... Well, ma ma I, th I think I think we gotta draw the distinction between like mouse movement and mouse look. Because like you used to be able to just like tired of you moving forward, the field goal, man. We're moving the goalpost. <laughs> oh. Hey, man, I'm just clarifying my terms. <laughs> You could look left and right in Doom with the mouse. Mm -hmm. And in Wolfenstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking like I'm spinning in circles in my brain mates. I'm like, what could I Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Quake, maybe? <laughs> oh yes, the the predecessor of Doom. Quake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, if you want to take Jordan's definitions, like, maybe Quake, yeah, <laughs> on PC. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, because that, all first-person, like, shooting games, like, on, like, anything without an analog stick, like, PS1, man, there were ports of, uh, wasn't there a Doom there, there, there. I know there was Doom sixty four. I think there was a Doom for PS one. Would just be a miserable experience, man. Yeah, no, there, there, there. Oh, it came in the old style box too. Damn. <laughs> like before, they were just like regular SCD jewel cases. They had the fancy looking ones. They looked oh, more like, like, uh, like yeah, like a CD. Yeah, yeah. Those are dumb boxes. <laughs> They were. Nothing that would hold them. Fortunately, the CD games... What did I have? I had Jurassic Park. Sewer Shark. Mortal Kombat. Well, uh, I think Sewer Shark came with the Sega CD, now. It did. It came with the pack-in. Yeah. Um, did I... Oh! Nope, I didn't have that, but... I had it on loan for a long time, like Sonic CD, which was just like, it's more Sonic with CD audio. Yay. Ooh. I had a Sega CD32X game, Corpse Killer. With like really bad acting, full motion video, and you tried to shoot with, oh, talk about hard mode, man. It was a shooter, like a light gun style shooter that you'd use the controller to move the cursor around. Fun times. I used to play Virtua Cop with a controller before uh, my dad got me the light gun. <laughs> hmm. I could probably see playing that with a mouse, maybe. Yeah. 
I played a lot of uh, House of the Dead 2 on PC. That was fun. <laughs> was House of the Dead the one at the arcade with like the foot pedal where you could duck? Yes. Okay. There's also Typing of the Dead, which was the typing tutor. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be so much more delightfully nefarious if it was something completely, you know? Typing of the Dead, what is it? Porn. <laughs> I mean, for some people, for some people it's porn. This is true. Um, okay. So, uh, it turns out it was actually Ultima Underworld that had mouse look, well, was one of the first games to implement mouse look. It's one of the narrowly, dungeon crawlers, right? Yeah, yeah, nar <laughs> narrowly, narrowly beating out Wolfenstein. Yeah, by like two months. Yeah. Ninety-two. All right. Want to do a show? Since we're here, do you want to build? You want to build a snowman? We can make him our best friend. Build a snow man. Okay. Did I tell everyone it snowed here for like a minute last week? I don't think I brought it. This was how unforgettable it was because it genuinely snowed for an afternoon. <laughs> and that was it. But it lots of snow. It was that fluffy snow that just poof, disappears. And it wasn't cold enough. It was just cold enough to build up. By that evening, it had gone. Some motherfucker enterprising um, a couple of houses down built a snowman. I was like, how did you get it quick enough? <laughs> they, they, actually have, they actually just have like a bunch of ice they chopped up in the I, snow and... <laughs> Because there there was like little specks left in the afternoon, like under and shaded areas. But nope, this fucko had a straight up snowman. Damn. <laughs> Have you ever built a snowman? Yeah, but keeping it in the freezer, I just rolled it out. <laughs> I, I I don't think I've ever like built a complete snowman. I've attempted to build a snowman on several occasions. I remember as a child, we we were skiing somewhere, and it, I. Went to build a snowman, but the system didn't work like it did in the cartoons. I was like, "This is rubbish." Mm -hmm. um, yeah, <laughs> you could you can never get like the 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 parts as perfectly round as they could in the shows. Well, I wanted like being... the like you take the little ball and just roll it. It's like, this, yeah, 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 this is lies. This is not working like this. And <laughs> yeah, you need like um, you need packing snow for that. Usually, if you're going skiing, they like. He's a pretty fine snow. Not really conducive for building snowmen or forts or balls. Oh no, it's great if you um, actually manage to get a snowball together with that snow and you throw it at someone, you'll mm. knock them over. <laughs> <laughs> with powder snow? <laughs> Jesus, you wa you wafish twink. My God! <laughs> just powder does it to him, man. He likes yeah, it. Yeah, just sprinkle some salt on him, and he just collapses under. He doesn't his want. Like, ah, man, listen, ah. fine snow. He does no fine. He'll he'll settle for moderately attractive snow. Mm, he's 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 got them low snow standards. I'm saying, man, that's how he rolls. <laughs> I don't judge. I wish I could be flexible like that. Yeah, you're just you're just too cold for it. I'm telling you, man. Very beautiful people. We got a show. Let's rock on. 62. I have no idea. Um, 62 is one. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think that what... Isn't that something here like... it's pretty windy. 62 Fahrenheit. I want to say that's like 5 to 7 degrees Celsius? 60... Mm, I think it's more like 15. The, see, oh, you're at sixteen point six 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 six. Hail Santa, baby! All right, maybe that's why other. I mean, I'll 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 concede that one. I don't know. I freely don't know shit about Fahrenheit. I don't I don't I don't know what temperature Brian freezes at. I have a car that refuses to go into regular mode, so yes, I have some like it's warm when that number's out. Yeah, you, you have, yeah, you have the experiential basis of like, yeah. I don't think it should be that, but I guess it is. Hand down. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're about to do segment one of Linux Gamecast Weekly, also known as the Nudes. 
AKA the human sentai pad. Yes. That's good. Recording, and we're on a test interface tonight. So if everything crashes, like if it just dies and it goes tits up, free 15 minute break. <laughs> yeah. I have the other one directly under it. Why they switch everything over? Hot plug. Uh, you don't hot plug Firewire, but I mean, if you're brave, you do. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it'll get hot plug when it catches fire. Yeah. <laughs> when you slam 40 watts. Yeah. Uh, okay. In three, two. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whenever the hell looks, we come up with this week is no exception. We got a bunch of mind melting penguin flavored nightmare fuel right for your eye holes. I'm Ben Stone. That man up north, um, when Jordan's fang, he's doing weird setups. And uh, Britannia's own Pedro Mateus. Hello. Hi. The weirdest setup. <laughs> it is kind of brilliant, man. Um, special guest, but more on that later. Together with you at home in chat room dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What's up? What is up, lads? Uh, I got like a two minute thing I got to talk about. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. Yay. Yay. I'm trying <laughs> to get travel arrangements done for scale, coordinating between like. A dozen people who are arriving on different days and trying to sort out hotel shit is super fun, you guys. Oh my god, I'm having a blast. Kill me. Yay. Kill me. <laughs> I, 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 I got to Oh, what? I was, I was just going to say, I got to figure out my rooming arrangements with empty. We're going to debate on who's big spoon and who's little spoon. Oh, are you guys going to be in the same room? Yeah, we 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 gotta we gotta share a hotel for a couple days or so. Oh, right until the house shows up. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and over here, as you probably saw on Tuesday, um, yes, the Steam box is back together, and it's for all intents and purposes done. I just need to finish running the uh, performance numbers just to, you know, like that person on YouTube, um, just to prove their point, I guess, um. <laughs> To pointlessly was, or okay, it little, wasn't pointless. Little behind the scenes, this, but <laughs> we were talking about this in the previous super shows, and I, I, I looked at the video because I we posted it, and I saw that there were two comments, and I was like, "No, there's nine comments or six It was like, "Ooh, somebody got into it." And I just assumed it was Pedro. <laughs> Shock. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, that person clearly had an agenda that they were trying to pass along, and I just ended the whole thing by agreeing with them. It's like, yes, that is precisely the point. So, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, those do. will be coming. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was pretty cool, man. You did a live stream, and... Uh, yep, with our Arthur. It's <laughs> pretty cool, man. I'm down with that. Uh, I've been playing with a bunch of junk that... Mackie, that big honking control surface, um, okay. working with a uh, yeah, Mr. Mackie, the Christmas DAW um, control surface. It was in rough state. Uh, cosmetically, it's fine, but it, it's clearly something. If you've ever dealt with electronics, you know when the silicon's being flexed for the first time in a long time. You're like, oh, this has got gremlins in it. Plus, it's got the mechanical stuff with the motorized faders. I put some new capacitors on all the like level one there's another level i gotta go into it's gonna take a minute to get it sorted but it's way too big for the desk i mean it fits but i have no room for like this and we gotta have room here all this room's gone but the main reason i got it the main reason the legitimate reason because it was like 80 bucks is like oh, okay that'll be fun to like play with and set up and repair then do a video it works by the way spoilers if you want to be the impatient lot and uh that's definitely the thing but Something I brought up on Wednesday, uh, Pedro, you were around Wednesday, right? Don't we do a show? Yes, okay. we do. Linux right. Weekly. He's, he's, he's mentally absent for most I of I don't show. listen. Sometimes I check out too, so I don't hold it. I'm mentally <laughs> absent through most of my life. Your point being? <laughs> that, Something that I'm is going my point. to be doing is, this is going to be a thankless task, but I, I kind of had my uh, legitimate Gallifrey Falls No More minute with the... Um, Digimax 003, because I looked online and did my research, and I'm like, hey, man, this thing works, apparently. And fair enough. It was, you know, I had to go dig through old mailing list, and, like, somebody was like, yeah, I did it, and then I got tired. 
And some other guy took it up and he's like, hey, I got this accepted into the Ulsa, the Ulsa patch into the Curdle. It's official. So I got it, picked it up. The main function of an interface is to record. So no issue when it's recording, it, there's a click every seven to 10 seconds. It's like, that would really screw somebody up. Me, I'm like, I just bought it to play with. But fortunately, work has resumed on that driver because I was like, yo and he's like yeah that that bug's been around for like two years i'm like you might want to put that somewhere because somebody a good one of those uh can go two three hundred bucks man that could screw your day up if that's all the money you had to pick up interface and i, I want to prevent stuff like that from ever happening and i'm just going to do it out of my own pocket for right now but uh i've already picked up i'm going to ebay sorting like 99 cents getting anything that i can um, i'm really interested in motu uh mark of the unicorn stuff uh Sapphire, interested in that. Uh, basically, anything that has a plug, be it FireWire or USB, that plugs into a computer that you can do recording on, I want to do, and I am doing, um, I'm already three in, a database, a modern database. So people looking to do music production under Linux and, you know, people like getting rid of like, ah, oh, Windows 7, ZOL, what do I do? I don't want to go to Windows 10. Or same way with like, they don't make Mac with FireWire ports and I got all this gear. I want to give them a good path. Um, people doing podcasts like what we're doing right now and just make that laid out do a video for each one lay it out like this is the latency this is the weirdness for it maybe or maybe it just doesn't work i'm going to do a three chair system too we're going to keep that tradition alive it's going to be a green chair yellow chair red chair i think that's easy enough for a windows user to understand red chair means good <laughs> yeah sounds about right yeah and for the youtube videos i'll only respond if they're uh references or questions about spaghetti okay carbonara no. uh <laughs> dude i'm gonna do that uh one thing i do ask is if you have some old gear laying around that you're not using that you don't want that's going to get thrown away give it to me and i do mean give um because <laughs> i i asked wednesday and apparently somehow that was misconstrued i had six really seven people i think each and every one of you took the time to write in, but uh, they were all like, here's the list of stuff I have. Bye. Oh. <laughs> so if you go to our contact page, uh, we got a PO box. If you get anything that uh, would end up in a landfill, uh, send it this way. And if it's going to be usable, put a note in there, be like, hey, man, use this, FO. And hopefully we can build this. It's uh, It's just got to get done. And no one else seems to want to do it or interested in doing it. So kind of like how Linux gaming has got started. I'm like, I'm not the best person for this job, but fine. If I got to do it, I'll do it. And hopefully it'll be, well, not hopefully, it will definitely be of help in the future for, you know, I caught a $125 bullet with this uh, pre-SOTUS because it's got a serious issue that, it's not documented anywhere, but it will be now because I've, I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's not going to be a daily driver. So there, there's my spiel. Contact, there's a link. Um, don't send me anything with air holes in it, please. Again? <laughs> Sound legit? Unless it's a so, horse. I mean, I was going to ask, like, can you, is is the horse MIDI compatible? Can you plug some yeah, cables baby. into it and get some noise out? Good. It sounds like it's the steam. So, uh, we start off this segment this week with an interesting little find uh, someone yeah, on Reddit uh, brought up. Uh, so, Nibarika on Reddit uh, has a friend who released a game on Steam. It's not selling too well because, you know, shock among shocks if you're an indie on Steam, you're not going to get a lot of purchases unless you're, you know, very, very popular. Mm -hmm. So, um, he, uh, he, his, he, bought, he bought his friend's game. Uh, they don't have a they don't have a Linux version. They uh, played it a bit on Proton, and uh, they asked their friend, "Hey, can you check your sales? Because I want to see if it shows up as a Linux version." Turns out it don't, and that caused a minor kerfuffle. Uh, Mr. Pierre Loop Guru uh, eventually came in to comment, and he said, "Oh, that that's not right. We're gonna try. And, we're gonna go fix that." So that that's that's the story. Apparently, for a while, that's good. Uh, un <laughs> unintentionally, it seems. Uh, Proton sales and Proton uh, game time was being tracked as Windows, which I mean, you know, that that's actually kind of shocking considering, you know, Valve can 
easily figure out what what people are playing uh, with Proton, given the amount of information they have at their disposal. It seems a bit weird that uh, this was some uh, an oversight that made its way through. I don't know. Uh, okay. When I saw this, even with Plague Man's follow-up, when I first read this on Reddit, it's like, did you really think Valve was tracking that as a Linux cell? I mean, like, really? They could. They oh, could. oh, oh, yeah. Uh, completely <laughs> believe they, the technology exists to do that. Um, <laughs> just didn't think they were really doing it. That came across as like, sure we are. Just buy more stuff because we're a company and we make money if you buy stuff. Buy more stuff. <laughs> Well, By the way, yeah, we got I'm... another sale coming on at the end of the month. <laughs> right. You missed the last two last week. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it would be great if Proton sales counted as Linux purchases. And apparently, according to uh, Pierre Le Préfet, uh that will be the case. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Because, yeah, if people are playing the game on Linux using Proton, but they are playing it on Linux, that, that should technically count as a Linux purchase, and the game developers should be made aware of that. It's like, well, no, oh, look, no. we have a bunch of people buying it on Linux. Let's, not uh, not, not even not even that, that thing in like, the future. Pro Proton is Valve's own product. You'd think they'd want to yeah. know if people are using it, right? Um, yeah. That's so the, the whole the, thing, the, though, Brad. They know. They just, they're just they're just not telling the developers. Right. There's like this yeah. doesn't make us any more or less money. We know if we need to know. I mean, the data's there. It's like the whole Steam survey thing. We're like, finally, I'm like, well, just that that's public facing stuff. Tell people. Yeah. People don't want. Yeah. They just want an answer. Like, sure it does. Sure, but go go go. <laughs> have fun. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I, I mean, after the whole Steam charts debacle, I think it's understandable that like. Valve is a little more careful about what information they release because it turns out, and yeah, that that, that dude just like went on and worked for Epic. So shit, perfectly like, clear. I believe Plague Man, hundred percent, like to the best of his knowledge, is like, yeah, I thought it was, man. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I was told. <laughs> so all right, all right. One Steam charts though. Yes. So uh, Steam uh, DB dot info has uh, a new page uh, which came along after Valve changed how people could buy the um, soundtracks for games. Because previously, if you wanted to buy a soundtrack, you'd have to have the game in order to be able to even download it. And Steam was going, yeah, there's a lot of people not buying the soundtracks because they don't want to play the game. They just like the music. Makes sense. So since we like money, let's uh, uh, wait, let but, people... Hentai bad girls, really? Oh yeah, yeah buddy. The, that soundtrack slaps <laughs> okay. like tentacles against a schoolgirl's thigh. No, 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 Pretty no. Much. The game. I would never play the game, but the, the soundtrack is quite, 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 quite unique. I found. But uh, yeah, uh, no. Being the if company it, if that it they are the bones, and wanting yeah. to make money out of the whole. Oh yeah, let's let people download the soundtracks if they want to buy it without buying the actual game. That way, we can still get sales from people who don't care about that particular game. Go figure. Uh, but and here I was just happy that I could buy the soundtracks. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently a lot of them are on sale too, and there there are some there are some good ones on here. Like Transistor was up at the top of the list. That has a really good soundtrack. Then mm -hmm. uh, yep. you pointed out Hollow Knight's on there too. So oh, like, yeah. My favorite yeah, soundtrack I... of uh, even though I played it late of 2019 was um, Near Automatica. Thematic. So here, 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 here's a question though, uh, for for the two of you, and I guess for the rest of the audience as well. Do you, like, do you actually go and listen to game soundtracks outside of the game? No. Uh, basically everything by Jeremy Soul. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I, I don't I don't know because I, I have a bunch of soundtracks through Steam, right? But there are very few games where I, I, I get a sudden craving to listen to the soundtrack of, just because, like, man, remember that boss fight? That had a wicked soundtrack. I want to listen to that right now. Or... Well, I mean, then, then there's some games where you inadvertently own most of the soundtrack, like uh, yes. Victor Vren. <laughs> well, yeah, and, yeah um, that, 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 that one Victor Vren Motorhead, Motorhead expansion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, I got all this. <laughs> and uh, if you have the Talos Principle on Steam, which most of you probably do, um... The some of the songs show up uh, if you use the Steam music player they show up twice 
And I bring that up because when I took a screenshot uh, showing the Steam box running like the Steam music player just to show, oh, look, the Intensity Pro is actually capturing audio now. I didn't do anything. It just started working. Mm. Uh, so, <laughs> and Strider uh, in Discord was like, people use the Steam music player? So... Yeah, fair, apparently that's fair assumption not a thing. because I accidentally <laughs> triggered it and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> right? Like, the, the only time I ever used the Steam Music Player is when I accidentally smashed the hotkey that it did. That's uh, that is pretty much to. what happened, man. True story. Yeah. Oh, it was Mir, not Strider. Okay, okay. my bad, Mir. <laughs> so, good Mir's news, everyone. On that one. Metro M Exodus. Mir is we Strider. gotta talk about this because this is a thing that's gonna happen and when it gets done being all epic, uh, maybe they'll scooch over to Linux because, hey, man, Deep Silver, we have two metro games from them what are we talking about this because if we eight hours ago deep silver known as the developer on the forums it seems said, uh, well hang on let's get this in order the god emperor doge wrote linux version question mark 2033 redux and last light got a linux release any news on this one deep silver writes back we are working on it more news soon yeah so i mean mm. I, I, I don't I don't know, man. G given given that the last Deep Silver games we got under Linux were using virtual programming in the form of Saints Row, yeah. I would be I would genuinely be ecstatic if they pumped out a native port. And they're like, hey, yeah, we we did we did it for um, Last Light, we did for the OG Metro, we did for the Enhanced Edition. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the it was Reduxes, the edition. yeah, or yeah, the the Reduxes. Redux. Um, but I'm in the in my in my little shriveled up heart. I genuinely think it's going to be like, hey, we tested this on Proton. We won't backban you for, you know, playing it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, this, th dude, um, that would just make me all the happy because I just assumed, like, well, I guess we're never going to play that one. Um, I really like the Metro games. I, I was like, Jesus, uh, that that's how you do storytelling in a first-person shooter. Then... I think along with the rest of the internet, ex ex except for you, Gary, when it went to the Epic Store exclusive, it was like, you know what? Fuck you, Deep Silver. Um, yeah. 20, yeah. 2020 is going to be interesting for that because now well, the exclusivity terms of a lot of uh, interesting games that were on exclusive for Epic Store is up. So we're going to start seeing mm -hmm. them on Steam. Do you... Okay, let's, let's just start really pissing people off. What's the under and over of Epic coming back with... The, dump truck number two of like let's renew that exclusiveness i wouldn't put it past them i wouldn't put it past them you see that's yeah I'm going no with that. <laughs> however i think after a year of uh i'm guessing not terribly great sales in the epic store maybe those developers are looking we actually want more people to play our game so steam's nah, the bad no. steam's the wrong place for him brad <laughs> unfortunately <Yeah. laughs> I, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe you'll get that sort of pressure cooker, uh, the the pressure release thing, where people have been holding off specifically because they're Epic Store exclusives, and once they actually get up, get out on Steam, people will be more inclined to. Buy I legitimately them. would say, I mean, just being perfectly honest, I don't know if if it wasn't an Epic exclusive, and now we have Proton, you know, rolling out with version five point not where it is now. If that had been available on Steam, I'd probably already own it. Mm. Being on yeah. Epic, I'm like, nope. And this extra good news, I'm like, wait a minute. So if you're going to give me, even, even if it is Proton and it's officially supported, okay. I mean, yeah, it, it worked perfectly fine for Nier and Doom and all these yeah. other games, right? So, And it's not even an Epic exclusive because, well, I don't know if it's uh, Metro Exodus specifically, but there are a bunch of games that were supposedly uh, Epic exclusive that showed up on the Windows Store. That's because that doesn't count. <laughs> That's because Tim Sweeney loves Microsoft. He, but also, yes. <laughs> he, he, he hates Android. He hates Microsoft, but he loves them too because oh, they're, they're things that make money. Oh, it's a, and it's on Stadia too, so there's that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something oh, yeah, I thought of genuinely would never happen in our lifetime. We're running out of um, games that have been in perpetual yeah. early access. What have we been talking about? Version 1.0. What are we talking about? Besiege. In full release, 18th of February, uh, the update will bring the last Campagon, an island, a category of block automations, logic blocks, and yay, also, the price is going to go up. Multiplayer is in there. 
There's definitely a level editor. It's currently nine ninety nine, even when it does handstands. But uh, yeah, they, they've made a point. They're like, along with like how early access uh, doesn't matter if it's been in there for five years, the prices will be going up. And I think it's just come an amazingly long way from the origins of wacky death machine creation kit to now it's like Minecraft levels of complexity and. Yeah, I I, th I think that's kind of one of the strengths of the early access model is like you do to get that level of feedback and your game can transform into something beyond what the original vision was. It's it, I guess it's kind of like a positive scope creep. I don't know. It can it can go either way. But like Siege, I, I loved you, <laughs> but like you're three years too late for that 1.0, man. Dude, man, this it's game been a while. Yeah, it it it's been so long. I mean, not to poo poo on it. I mean, we're still. Oh, it's, it's it's a great game. It's fun as shit. But... It's absolutely fun. I, what I like was the original simplicity of it, and watching people make things using such like limitations, and still building Gypsy Danger. You know, and I'm like, ooh, neat. But now a lot of that's been built in, so we're just going to see some radical. But it did miss. It's like it hit on the internet all those years ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Reddit, Reddit was like, "This is the best thing," and that only lasts at most what two weeks. And yeah, and and, and then people people move on. And no. I and I think like those people had their fun with Besieged back like three years ago. But I yeah. mean, it it has it has come a long way because the multiplayer is pretty slick. Um, mm -hmm. they've added they've added like the the fact that they're adding logic blocks and whatnot basically means like. They, they've Minecraft like the Minecraft analogy is super apt yep. in the sense that once upon a time it's like hey we can build these sort of 16-bit computers in Minecraft they're like yeah now it's just a block because we expect people are expecting this functionality now right so. uh, I, I look forward to seeing because I I kept it on the hard drive uh, forever until I'm like you know what just whenever now they're like knock 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 hey Vin install it again so yeah it's gonna be fun to play around with it yeah, we might, we, might, we might do some of that on Thursday. Multiplayer. We could do yeah. it on Friday. You can come join me for a stream for once. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, they're allergic to it. I try to show up for their streams and be like, hey, guys, I'm in the chat. Poof, smoke bombs. I, I show up for Jackbox. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you at least do that. At least. All right. <laughs> Pedro, mandatory disclosure time. Nepotism is well, alive and well here at LGC. There is uh, such a thing about disclosure. And technically, this game was developed by Nori's cousin's husband. So, Father's, father's four brothers, nephews, cousins, cousins former roommates, hairdresser. Yeah. But, but Pedro, like two or Pedro, three degrees of separation at this point. Absolutely nothing, which is oh, what you'll nothing. become. I see your shorts. <laughs> All right, go ahead. But yeah, no, it's a puzzle frame. It's a uh, sliding puzzle, a sliding block puzzle thing where you have to basically reconstruct the uh, the picture that you're presented with. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, very much developed by a Portuguese team. And I, yeah, one of the developers I know because I went to his wedding to Nori's cousin. So yeah, there's that. But yeah, it's the, it's pretty cheap. It's uh, one pound sixty nine here, uh, regular price. But uh, the current uh, launch sale is uh, ten percent off, so you can get it for pretty cheap. Uh, and yeah, it's um, it's a sliding would, block puzzle game. Would, would 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 you say it sucks or it doesn't blow? Ooh, <laughs> neither. <laughs> Does it go from suck to blow? Possibly. <laughs> it's an achievement. It's a perfectly acceptable game. <laughs> See, you really should have, like, we, we should have worked some advertisements in there. We'll put our faces just, like, randomly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just screws everything up. Crashes. I, I, I just think it needs more Mega Maid. It does require a 64-bit processor, uh, 1.5, uh, yeah, 2 gigs of RAM, and uh, 1.5 gigs of hard drive space. So, that's yep. the thing. It's pretty mm -hmm. cheap. It's priced to sell. Indeed. All right. So, coming up next, there's a brand new Mesa out. It seems Yay. like it's busted as fuck. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> also, also, maybe some non-NVIDIA ray tracing. It might be possible in the future. Also, the far yeah. distant future. Question mark? Question mark? Perhaps. Also, also ray. That's why. Okay, never mind. That's why. 
no, I had an automation curve. I'm like, why aren't you doing the thing you're supposed to do this whole time? I was like, don't get squirrely on me. And uh, when I stopped it, I was like, hey, remember me? I'm an automation curve. Watch how I automation swerve. Ooh, yeah. I, no, baby. I'm talking about them automation curves. I need to Spin. pee again. Give me a sec. Mm. You got them curves. Automation. Where am I at? Uh, pre pre. Chosen intermissions and. All right. Now, let me tackle this guy. Where are you at? Where are you? Uh, right click. Um, automation. Show existing automation. Ah, there it is. Look at it being all automation-y. Look at, look at it. Look at I'm it. looking at it. Oof. I'm trying to ninja delete it. Yeah. Go away. You know what? I could do the smart thing and right click on that and just clear it and put it back on manual. Why didn't I do that? No. Yeah. Right clicking's for suckers. Dude. I only left click. I like that. I was like two layers in deep on the right. I right click on the right click. Mm. <laughs> oh man, I, I I hit those like it's a menu instead of right click menu instead of right click menu. And you're like, God damn it. Oh, it worked. That was the thing. Nori's cousin's husband. Yes. So let's see if I can boop. This. Boop. Oh, yeah. Well, while that's going on, we got, we got your titles to vote on. Vote.nextgamecast.com. True story. Vote on them. You can bang suggest them while, while we're talking nonsense. Oh. Um, we, we, God damn it. Pressure hooker. <laughs> I'll, I'll give pressure hooker a vote. Slaps like tentacles. I'll give that one a vote. The weirdest setup. Da -da -dun -dun, da -da -dun -dun -dun. It's the weirdest setup. Do you know? Um, I had um, I remember who did it. I think John Lee Hooker originally did it, uh, maybe. But um, tell me where will you sleep tonight? And Nirvana did a cover of it. I get the uh, name of the song. Shot room window in a hot second. Tell me where you sleep tonight. Yeah, tell me where you sleep last night. Uh, my girl, my girl, um, don't lie to me. Tell me where. Um. You... Yeah, where did you sleep last night? Yeah. Totally don't. Remember. Also known as Into the Pines. That's it, Into the Pines. Yes. Um, has no known origin, but, um. Uh, apparently, it originated near the Southern Appalachian Trail. Okay. Near, I was looking uh, for Tennessee something that Trail. I could play when I'm, I'm going to be doing these mm -hmm. interfaces. I was like, I could play that. And turns out I could sing that. So Yeah. Well, Lead, Lead Belly did a recording Lead of Belly. it. Right, right, right. Bill Monroe also did a recording of it. Seems legit. Uh, yeah. yeah there, there are a lot of those like songs that were recorded very early on in like the vinyl era that no one really knows where they came from. They were just kind of in the public right. consciousness. They were just known. Did Shaq do a cover? Did Shaq do? Uh, other versions. Dolly Parton did a cover. I huh. thought that said Carl Weathers for a second. It's Carl Rutherford. Puzzle Frame. Yes, Pedro. Thank you for the... Oh, somebody asked the question. Damn it. That takes all the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta frame those puzzles. Oh, I thought they know you were just did. offering up like yes. Puzzle frame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was like the same thing with House of the Rising Sun. Like, the song existed forever, but like, do you know the story? Because everyone who who did the uh, the the animals did that. In well, the animals cover. they did that like last minute too, because they showed up and they were getting ready to do a song and something cocked up or fucked up and it was like oh shit uh what can we do and it was a like very spur of the moment when they decided to do that that was not planned for that show well ass i don't know shit about records because i'm not a hipster so shellac yeah the ones that if you drop by the way i learned that as a child because i had a vital one and it was like oh that's neat then i dropped uh one of my mom's like old records and it's 
Like, oops. <laughs> right in front of her, too. There was no... Neo there's, there's, it's like, like oh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> yes, you did. You dropped that, you little piece of shit. <laughs> so I learned. This guy is fuck where they like drunk and high. Hi, I'm Reddit. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't hold, fuck with my parents' hold, records, hold, hold my but joint. I apparently broke three or four needles on their record player. <laughs> oh, this, See, this this was like, no, dude, he was a toddler. He spent most of his uh, years as a toddler drunk, so he doesn't remember a lot of it. <laughs> See, I, I, I got smacked when I tried to mess with my dad's vinyl collection, so that never happens. <laughs> yeah, no, no, actually, the first time I got drunk, I was like... Less than a year old. I had just started to walk, and apparently, uh, it was like Christmas uh, Eve, and ev all of the adults had been drinking, and they left their um, glass bottoms uh, on a um, a very low table. And being the bottom so feeding scavenger you are. <laughs> So my 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 only drunk baby story is my cousin got hammered when he was like two, because his father was just like spoon feeding him wine. Mm. That was one <laughs> weird Passover seder. No, I think the first time I generally got like, like drunk and was a uh, summer I was outside of Stuttgart and at my brother's shop just because it's like that's what I did in the summertime. He's like, you go work in my brother's shop. Fine. And there was some malt liquor that I don't even know. No one in his shop wanted to fuck with it. And it was in the fridge. I was like, can I have that? And I had to have been 13 though. You know, I wasn't like two. <laughs> he was like, yeah, go ahead. And I drank most. I fell asleep on the shop floor and like woke up like borderline hypothermic. Because the concrete had absorbed all of my heat. <laughs> that, that was it. I was like, okay. Didn't learn yeah, no, anything from that. I wasn't even that. a year old. No so. lesson yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, pa pa Pedro is the poster child for fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, Jordan, your turn. <laughs> when was the first time you got schnockered? When was the first time I got drunk? Yeah. Like, proper drunk, or just like, ooh, I'm so tipsy. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I mean, I wasn't, like, pa pass out. I was apparently, like, lay down on the concrete floor of his shop and go to sleep drunk. Um, <laughs> something that I learned to do later in life as well. Um, I don't know. It was probably, like, 16, 17. Hmm. I can't remember because I was drunk for most of those years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like around 16, 17, uh, people where I lived uh, started doing parties at the local pizza place, and they had sangria, because sangria was like the drink at the time. And yeah, that was the first uh, non-toddler time I got drunk. See, I love, Jay, I, you're I love Irish. The, I genuinely you don't love count. the concept of sangria because that's somebody that was like low on wine and they decided just to Jesus it up and mix it with yeah, some just, yeah, just fruit juice Mix it with shit. some fruit, yeah. yep. They're like, sangria! And I'm like, man, you, you're just trying that's, that's to... just wine with some extra stuff. That is somebody trying to maintain until the store's open again. I mean, that, that's <laughs> yep. all that is. Let's be real. Hmm. How many days until scale now? Uh, okay. It's the first week of March, so like two weeks. Two weeks? Uh-oh. Christmas Day. Apparently, that was very funny. You see, that's different, though. In Australia, like, everyone was like, ah, oh, let's get Michael drunk. It'll be fun to watch. <laughs> let's now, get now, the kid drunk. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. When you picture nine-year-old Michael, does he still have the beard? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's got hobbit feet for some reason. I don't know. I, it's, I, not a true story. He's from Australia, not New Zealand, then. I get him confused. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Closer than any of us, anyway. Man. 
They don't have any. I mean, the only because my mom doesn't really drink. Never really has. She have like a glass of wine <laughs> once a quarter. Yeah, I didn't really like alcohol the first time. I tried it when I was like six or seven. I don't think seven. anyone does unless you like tango no, with like. It's uh, an acquired taste. <laughs> some of the like danger alcohol, which, you know, like Zima or the Smirnoffs. Like that. Oh, when, when you say like... danger alcohol, I'm thinking like under the sink, the solvents. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I really like this as your esophagus. That is problem dissolving. takes care of itself quick. No, man. Um, like mixed drinks and stuff like like. Because I don't drink stuff. Like, I, if I can't taste the alcohol, I'm like, nope, not messing with that, man. That That's how you wake up in a different state. And I mean physical one. Um, no, don't mess with that. Um, I do like the uh, Smirnoffs, though. Like, the ones that taste like Sprite, but they have too much sugar in them. <laughs> oh, the yeah, ones that taste like... Juice, yeah. Ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was my entire experience. I bought a six pack when those came out, and I like slammed five in like twenty minutes because that's how quick I go through a normal drink. I was like, looked at the back, what's geez? All right, nope. Gave the last one away. <laughs> oh, time for another drink. All right, tick tock. We got forty seconds. Yeah, no, it's far more windy today than it was um, last weekend when it was supposedly, you know, the big storm that was hitting. I just got reminded that the fourth Silent Hill game was called The Room, and now I kind of just want to play a horror game where you're being chased by Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> He's coming after you going cheap, 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 cheap. You're you chicken, Mark. You hear that, but it's like left and right. It's like, I did not. I did not. I did what? not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah. But, but that's like in like 7.1 shit with a center shell. And like, what? No, 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 no. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. It's the last hi, thing you hear before Mark. you die. Right. Mark. <laughs> Alright everyone, um let's do some nudes. That's a funny story, Mark. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, click clock. <clears throat> In three, two. Well, uh with the horse out of the way and it it's impressive that it still manages to retain some sort of form that we can get out of the way. We can now get to the shilling. This no, is that's a the trap. Point. It's a mimic. I thought, I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was a pound. Dude, listen, I'm just saying, rule of thumb, if the horse fits into a chest, mimic, not horse. What if it's like a mimic a containing point. a horse containing a mimic? It, it, if you open a chest and it contains a horse, it is not like bloody <laughs> Oh, mimic, is it a mimic guaranteed. disguised as a dead horse inside another mimic? Yep. Inside, inside an actual dead horse. You try to, like, Luke Skywalker it on the hoth. He's like, I thought they smelled bad on the outside, and then it just opens up and eats you. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. serious. Man, for real, dude. You get a Nicolas Cage poster, and you think you know mimic physics. You don't. You I don't. just want to see, like, look, look at look at those beautiful lips. I want to see Pedro kiss them. Kiss Nicolas Cage. No. Damn it. You coward! You fucking cowards! If you don't stand for this cowardice, you should head on over to LinuxGameCast.com. Move your mouse over that support tab yeah, baby. and donate some money Whoops. with the express colliery that Pedro must kiss Nicolas Cage, mm -hmm. or else that check does not clear. Uh, we, you, you can do it with Bitcoin. Wait, wait you can do it. No, are you trying to tell me this is a pay to cage operation? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> if, Listen, we don't get paid unless Pedro smooches Nicolas Cage. That is the promise that we make to you week after week after week. We don't spend your Bitcoin. We don't. We don't spend your T-shirt proceeds if you don't. If you don't do that, yeah. But buy, 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 buy yourself some Linux Game Cast yeah, shirts baby. and then take a picture up. of. Yeah. So if you want, if you want to, if you want to go rep the LGC crew in California, you can. I gotta get a Lonely Penguin shirt for that. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get the women's Lonely Penguin shirt and then like I don't know. 
Uh, like in all that seriousness, remind me of that like tomorrow afternoon, and I'll send you one. Nice. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but uh, we we get, we got a store. We got all sorts of stickers and hoodies just, and uh, house pads you can buy. Store's awesome. Uh, what what would be the size that would be just awkwardly tight? Just just out of curiosity, not that I. Two X. Two X. All right. Two X. Thank you. <laughs> um. As you were. As uh, yeah. If you, if you, I mean, if you, if you want to pay to see my nipples, you can head on over to patreoncom slash Linux. Da- yeah, Gamecast. Baby. Uh, <laughs> becoming a Patreon is pretty awesome. You get access to our discord. Uh, you get an extra hour of Linux Gamecast goodness a week with the pre, pre super chosen. You get a fancy schmancy RSS feed for that. You even get a video version. Sometimes, uh, you can get access to the show notes. That's pretty cool because you can suggest stories to us. We have a, we actually have a new channel in our discord specifically mm-hmm. for suggesting stories. And with show note access comes the ability to comment on stuff. So if we get stuff wrong or you just want to troll us or talk shit, you can do that in our show notes and we might even bring that into the show proper. You don't even have to um, wait for Pedro to post the video and just start shit talking like You absolutely Tuesday. can. That, 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 that's the real pay to win the Linux game cast. It is, baby. <laughs> oh man, Discord is awesome. If you, you like, you know what's going on here at Twitch, man, we generally hang out there and it's not like, we have IRC too, so and that's all tied in with bots and all that. So you can chat with us in IRC. We'll be there. We'll come hang out. Uh, pre pre super shows and that is awesome. Uh, I will be putting out early videos for patrons uh, for some of the audio testing and interface testing that I'm going to be doing, just kind of for a review and be like, hey, what do you think of this? Because this is a whole new thing I'm doing, and I want some feedback. And before we roll out a finished product, uh, if you are curious. But all this audio stuff, video stuff that we do, we have a little thing on Amazon, which is a list of every single thing we have. So if you're curious about the networking gear, the monitors, the PCs, the video stuff, audio stuff, the lighting, the storage, and the stuff that will zap you into tomorrow. Like a vaporizer plugged in. Yep. All your vaping. And if you want to be on this crazy wall, Frank's find up standing cannibals uh, like Carl, Mike G, Basil. And Arthurin, um, Arthur, have... Arthurin gets a special shout out this week too because he, he bought uh, yes he 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 bought that <laughs> lovely Nicholas Cage poster that Pedro refuses to kiss. Hey man, as well as an NVMe raid card. <laughs> those those lips, those he lips. Did. Lips are yeah. hips. Yeah, yes. now uh, Arthurin uh, forked over for an Asus by sixteen. It's got uh, it supports. For NVMe drives, uh, you just have to pull out the screws and uh, slot in the NVMEs, which I currently don't have four of, so that's okay. going to have All to right. wait a little bit. Real question, then. Um, can you get an NVMe to SATA connector? Probably. Maybe. Okay, if you can get M.2 NVMe... to SATA, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, M.2 to SATA. Then we get SATA, because I know they make SATA to id sat to ata then we get ata to id what we're getting down to is a 5400 rpm drive connected to that. <laughs> oh i, I was kind of hoping we could see if we can raid pedro's like vapotron <laughs> i'm just telling you but a uh, youtube video yeah. that i would watch is that adapted to a 5400 rpm drive Well, and then El Cheapo is right up there so that m- may work but he did send uh, a bit of a note actually his note was so big that I got two bits, and the second one has nothing on it. So, yeah. Uh, hey, Pedro, would you be so kind and test this uh, card thingamajig before I buy one for myself? Thanks much. With love, uh, parentheses, no homo, Arthurin. So, you gotta, you gotta have all the, all the homo. All the homo. <laughs> yeah, more homo the better, baby. <laughs> Arthurin, you are also, you are also a coward. I, also, also, I, I, I love the logic of I'm going to buy this for you so you can test it so that I can buy another one for myself. Right. Lead I will absolutely, Man. as soon as I get one more NVMe drive, I can, um, yeah, just try and raid off of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are, are you proud of yourself not kissing Nicolas Cage? Do it. Do it, you coward. Poster. Do it. No one cares. Do it. All right. There's a brand new version of Mesa out. They um, send out a little uh, mailing list item uh, that uh, 19.3.4 is out. It has some interesting stuff. Lots of ACO fixes uh, get listed. Uh, there's some other um, there's some other Vulcan stuff in there as well. But 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 apparently on 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 the Reddit's 
someone someone is speaking up saying uh, do not update um daniel suarez 369 nice Ooh. i was testing this uh, on uh, manjaro and it was causing it was causing some crashes um it was a little unstable so he figured he'd report that um and I yeah mean, isn't like you're running manjaro archbase you you're already playing rng with whether or not shit's going to work right <laughs> True. They don't track uh, as close to the bleeding edge as Arch itself does, but yeah, no, they caught it because it's like, oh yeah, no, we were testing, and apparently there's a bunch of um like errors uh, that it was X and it was games not working properly, and it was there's a, actually a bunch of uh, links if you follow the. Uh, Appar just apparently, click on the link. yeah. <laughs> apparently, as of four hours ago, they have pushed out a fix. Nice. So cool. Uh, All right. <laughs> so your but, weekend I mean, has been saved. Yes, AMD users. I mean, like, yeah. Honestly, like the every time you see ACO stuff mm -hmm. in the Mesa updates, you're like, yes, your Radeon card just got that much more faster. <laughs> right. Yep. One hundred percent. And yeah, this is uh nineteen thirty four, and it's. Um, Basically, the catch-up for people who are still using the 19 series, which is most distros, because you can totally just clone the Git and build Mesa 20 right now. But yeah, I, don't, I don't think you, you, it's, you it's, it's not, it's not on like GA this. though. I think I think it's still in like a release candidate or beta phase. So yeah. you know, <laughs> your mileage may vary. But that's the whole point of semantic versioning, right? Is you version the things that are stable and everything. Here's else the question: much. Do you think it would be able to play Vulcan? Maybe. It may. And if, uh, if, if, if you soon, dream hard enough. Well, soon ish, we may even see uh, some uh, Godot games come out with some Vulcan because they did a bit of a heads up post. Vulcan has been merged into the master branch. So test at your own peril. Uh, it's basically the uh, takeaway from this. They merged it now uh, before it's finished so that they can start working on the remainder of features 4.0, which is very good. And according to, um, who was it that made the post? Remy Ver Verscheld? I don't know. Uh, he said that um, the current work uh, is just a part of what they need for 4.0, and if they can get this in, they can get everything else. Uh, in the meantime, if you are trying to use Godot to actually build a game and put it up for sale, you know, uh, you may want, yeah, stick to the old version mm -hmm. right now. Don't try to use the big 4.0 up and coming because it's unstable. It's very unstable. I think it's yeah, pretty cool, man. I mean, it's definitely still a work in progress, so it is absolutely not ready for production, but it's there to uh, be kicked in the teeth. And man, we've come a long way from good old, even talking about it on this show from, hey, man, Vulcan's getting merged into Vulcan. Ew. <laughs> it's I mean, it, it, it's true. Again, yeah. Molten, VK, Vul, Molten VK was kind of the big tipping point for Godot supporting Vulcan. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it's it's good that they're releasing that, right? Because at least it's not finalized. But if you get it into the hands of developers, they can at least start poking at it and saying mm -hmm. like, "Hey, this is broken," or "Hey, maybe you need to look at this." Do, getting, do you think getting people that, are finally getting to crucial. like accepting their fate? You know, like this vulgar thing's happening. You probably time to like deal with it. Well, I maybe, think at uh, this point, it's just the. Well, the, the people the, in the, the AAA story. industry, because yeah, you mean like Bethesda doing the, the DX12? The, yeah. Well, see, apparently that's <laughs> that's that's where the hot ray tracing stuff is for now. Dun dun dun. Mm. So, um, the next story is from uh, PCGamer.com. Uh, so Chronos put up a little uh, GDC itinerary item. They're talking about the future of ray tracing and Vulcan. And the uh, spinning the wheel of Booga Booga. There are the... seven rays and one Gary in this photo. Oh, no, not Gary. I hate Gary. Uh, yeah, but uh, they're going to be giving a talk about uh, standardized uh, ray tracing implemented via Vulcan, something that is not tied to the RTX on the mm -hmm. tensor cores. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that will be happening soon. Um, right now, it really seems that the most development for ray tracing stuff is being done... Um, 
in uh, DirectX 12 with the DX Ray or whatever the hell they're calling it. Right. Uh, there, there, there is support in Vulkan, uh, but it's an NVIDIA proprietary extension at the moment because AMD doesn't have any sort of hardware ray tracing enabled on their cards yet. But that's going to change soon, hopefully, maybe. I don't know. This ray tracing crate is... is um, I don't think it's as hot as NVIDIA was hoping it's it would be. It's not a phase, Mom. No, and uh, unlike what Jensen was trying to get everyone to believe, it doesn't actually just work. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's uh, it's good, you know, to have something that's not tied to NVIDIA hardware, like G-Sync, for a while. Well, I, I mean, I mean that standardization is important, lest it becomes, at least under Linux, like SLI, where it's technically supported, no one's fucking using it, but yeah. it's supported. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, man. Uh, we're going to see more general purpose uh, ray tracing, especially with whatever big navi is going to roll out what's well, going to have something in it either that or amd's just been bullshit with the ps5 and the new xbox 9000 or whatever it's going to be called so when you say big navi i think of like the fairy from legend of zelda except like huge dude, and rolling uh, <laughs> huge navi feeding man hey, it's a thing listen uh, <laughs> cool humble bundle is getting regional Finally. Yes. Yes, they do. And um, now, if you go, well, not now, now, but uh, future bundles, if you go and try to buy one, instead of being presented with the price in dollars, you will actually be able to play, uh, to pay in uh, euros, British pounds, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, New Zealand dollars, Turkish liras, uh, Russian rubles, and uh, Philippine pesos. So... That's I'm, I'm, good, I'm and very happy they do that, say that that in, that uh, Humble is now supporting Monopoly money out of Canada. Dude, yes, it's <laughs> awesome. Are, are they and gonna... they do say it's like the prices are not being set as like one dollar means one euro means one pound. Uh, the prices are calculated when each bundle starts, um, as close to the conversion rate as they can get it. So that's that's great. It practical terms it'll stay much the same of what it is right now it's just that with an accurate you, you, readout of the price yeah, you, you, you know, check it you know, out yeah uh, time of the launch you can't like, manually select any of the currencies but are we gonna get the dollar dues yes the yeah. dollar dues and the kiwi dollars those, those aren't real though quit talking quit making stuff up this is a factual news show there's no such thing as kiwi <laughs> <dollars>. <laughs> they're, they're called they're called kiwi bucks and they're yeah. gorgeous this man spread much. the reality man <laughs> Maps without New Zealand. It's a real thing. Um, yeah. New Zealand's I mean, a myth. Statistically, Finland is a rounding error. Oh, it's New so Zealand, Finland, not Australia. Exist. Okay. Uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant good news. Uh, ooh, we got more Proton. Yeah. Um, yes. Hot off the heels <laughs> the of... egg roll one. <laughs> hot off the heels of uh, Proton 5.0 and GE 5.0, there's GE 5.1, and it's basically In my story imagination, based. you said hot off the eels. They're hot, sexy eels waiting. For, they're in your and neighborhood. They're on and my they're waiting for you. Both erotic and delicious. Get out, get out of my brain, you monster. <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Uh, yeah, but uh, so this is basically a rebase of the latest Proton patches on Proton. Uh, or rather, this is the uh, staging patches on uh, top of the latest Proton. So it's a bit of a rebase. Uh, they have switched input handling back to the Proton method rather than the wine staging method. Um, apparently, they're still soliciting feedback. There's still some discussion within the project as, as to which one is actually better. It seems like Proton is better for now, but that may change as well. Yep. Uh, they, they have uh, updated DXVK, updated F-Audio, VK... 3D, like yeah, it's it's basically just all the stuff that came with Proton uh, 5.0, but First now with off, glorious. Can we all agree that it's getting a little ridiculous? Uh, because they do note that VKD 3D is new. Now this is awesome though, and still, but it still doesn't work with all the DirectX 12 games yet. I love that it's that far along. You're running out of VKs and Ds and threes i mean dx we're running out of direct text at this point <laughs> <laughs> no I, like I, I i i would like to imagine that at the end of this we're just gonna have projects called like uh, just give Microsoft a chance for a DirectX 13. Uh, but uh, one of the known issues uh, well besides the vk d 3d one is um Trying to play Just Cause 3 using um, Glorious Egg Roll 5.1, mm -hmm. you can't save. Mm. You just can't. 
Well, you know, I was reading this and, and there's still no fix for the goddamn Batman, which <laughs> no <laughs> further leads. This is just factual proof that uh, Valve employees, A, watch the show, B, don't like me. Um, Seems about right. <laughs> no, I mean, it tracks. So, yay. I, I, I believe it. Egg roll, fix it. Uh, free Orion, man. Let's talk about some open sourcey stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been a while since we talked about some open source games. Actually, Free Orion was one of the first Linux games I ever tried when I installed Zubuntu those many years ago on my old computer. Uh, but yeah, I kind of bounced off it because Grand Strategy isn't my thing. Uh, but they do have some handy dandy updates, like um, for especially for long term games, they have asynchronous turn support, so people can like come in and do their turns later, but other people can still continue to play the game. Um, when you have uh, in in-game organizations, you can set up like guilds and factions and whatnot. You now have username and passwords, so people will have to enter the special password of specialness in order to join the, I don't know, the LGC Free Orion organization. There's lots of combat en enhancements as well involving re weapon types and the ships that they're effective against, and... Yeah, I mean, it, it's chugging along. If you were a big fan of Master of Orion, that sort of grand galactic strategy, Free Orion does it very, very similarly. And I got to throw out a little bit of um, unsolicited advice. Screenshots projects, please, yes. for the love of flying spaghetti monster. I mean, I, that's there what is, I've been doing. The, in, the introduction bit does say screenshots, so. <laughs> they should be on the main page, though. Yeah. <laughs> they should be. I'm yeah. genuinely on the main page. It's like, nope. It's introduction. Pedro, don't don't make people shots. click. Pedro, people Pedro, don't want to click things. We, we know where it's located. <laughs> I'm just saying the example. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. At least it, one. <laughs> it's in the about section. Then you go to inter then there's this drop down menu on that one, and, <laughs> and then you have to go to LinuxGameCast.com and click on the support button and yeah. like fight a spam golem. It's and, awesome. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Screenshot. So dot Uh But uh, besides um, your grand strategy games, you may remember at one point uh, we had uh, Ike Doherty, formerly of the Solus Project, uh, on Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Well, he's back. Uh, he is. Uh, he's decided to start a bit of a game development studio thing. Is and, it going to uh, include called... screenshots? Because if it doesn't include screenshots, I'm going to be terribly cross. There are them. screenshots, just okay. not on the main page. So, I'll buy it. <laughs> All that much like, uh, <laughs> yeah, much like Free Orion, they're not on the main page. But yeah, it's called Lispy Snake, and uh, they they ha haven't put out a game yet, mm -hmm. but there are a couple of them in development. And if you would like to help Ike um, develop it, they have a, the Game Razor crowdfunding campaign. I'm definitely going looking on. on the about page and says Linux first. We run Linux daily here. All right, that's cool, but that's only half the store. Y'all running at night, hmm? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, so, so here, here, here's, here's the funny thing, though. So they, they, they have all their stuff posted on GitHub. They're, they're working on a game engine called Serpent, uh, mm -hmm. which only provides build instructions for Solus, which okay. is fantastic. Lovely. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're also working on sort of like a Mandalorian-esque bounty hunting uh, FTL style game, which I'm actually kind of interested in. It. It's called The Last Peacekeeper. It does give me some pretty big FTL vibes. They do have some screenshots for it on the Lispy Snake website. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm saying, I might toss up some dude, bucks for the Kickstarter. I, 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 uh, I read that as, what is a fudge serpent? And I was like, nope. <laughs> it's the most delicious kind of serpent. <laughs> danger, yes. danger, Will Robinson. But yeah, if you have about $20 that you'd like to donate to the Game Razor, uh, they say that they're doing a total of 500 licenses, of which 405 are still available. And for those 20 bucks, you get all of the 2D games that they release, mm -hmm. which uh, the way that it was phrased leads me to believe that uh, they will make a 3D game at some point, maybe? Oh, no, babe. You got to string it out and be like, oh, we didn't say anything about 2.5D. Yeah. Yeah. We, no, uh, but... We, 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 Listen, you, that, 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 that's some old shit. You got to get on those one-dimensional games. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's just a dot. Rich room. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, this is, you know, if you are going to buy into that, it is crowdfunding. You're buying into a promise, not an actual product. So, you know, caveat emptor and whatnot. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Well, coming up next, we're going down, down, down. Into a well of D's. Into the sun, apparently, if that intro cinematic is to be believed. Wait a minute. We're throwing chairs at sent three. There's a sun in the sun went higher. Purple stuff. Bleach. That was a great um, little demo commercial. It was like, oh, what do you have to drink? Oh, we have Coke, Sunny D, Bleach, Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you'd like to play along in the home game, you can head over to vote.linuxgamecast.com, click on buttons, and smash things in. In first place, Pressure Hooker is clearly tied with slaps like tentacles. <laughs> yeah. Coming in third, Big Spoon and Little Spoon. Uh, also tied with the weirdest setup. Two Bill Gypsy Dates are off the hot off the eels. I'm gonna vote for my own thing. Um Mentally Absent, Big Navi, Hot Sexy Eels, Shifting Cage. Ooh. Thank you, Arthur. I don't know if you watched the full uh, rendition of, you know, the show, but uh, thank you. Kiss him. <laughs> kiss, kiss he that did cage. say he was uh, going to get me something sexy, so... Kiss that cage. Kiss that cage. Kiss that cage. <laughs> look at that smoldering look. He's, he's got eyes, and they're only for you, Pedro. Yeah, no, he's totally looking at me. He's checking me out. Listen, man, that's how Cage does. He always has that uh, little look to the left. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. give, come on, give him a little smooch. It, it give... looks good in photos, but face to face, you're like, cross uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what, what you don't see is that strand of hair is covering like a massive zit, too. Double D, three Ds. All the Ds. Double D, three D is what they use for dead or alive. <laughs> I know. It's to fix that. I, okay, do they have a Nicolas Cage onesie on Amazon? <laughs> Can I get a Nicolas Cage Kikarumi? No, you don't, because you'll never wash the thing and I'll be able to smell it visually. <laughs> That's the point, then. Oh, shit, they actually do have Nicolas Cage onesies. They look all sad and clapped out. Oh, my God. I, I'm 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 gonna do I'm gonna do one show wearing. <laughs> I want, first off, I want to see if they make this an adult size. I was about to say just walk around scale with that. It'll take care of itself. <laughs> <laughs> that says John Travolta shirt. It's clearly not John Travolta. <laughs> T Republic is a filthy liar. <laughs> Creepy celeb sleepwear. Okay. Okay, yeah. yes. Mix and match. <laughs> By Full Metal Vagina. <laughs> Canada, man. That, that's not quite as extreme as I was thinking, no. Yeah. Hmm. How warm is this thing? Ooh, that's warm. Toasty. Yeah. Then again, to be fair, like this entire thing, uh... Like, before I buy anything, I always go and, like, watch YouTube videos. Like, how do I take this thing apart? Because I just assume at some point I'm going to be taking the damn thing apart. That's a reasonable assumption. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not taking that. I mean, you can, but it, it's like, do you have an afternoon and the correct tools? But it is in way over-engineered. Of course, these things were, like, $700 when they were new. Um, but, like, the casing, side casing, is just, like, it's just one massive heat sink. It's like, yeah. I suggest putting it under your toes. 
<laughs> get, get sweaty feet. I don't know. We're going to get used to that. We'll be back on the Derringer sauce next week. But hey, proof concept. It works. Plus, it's got four ADATs. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you yeah. all. <laughs> I got four ADATs. <laughs> I think I can access two of them. Or one of them. I don't know. Um, game review. Oop. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> that was last week's. Did this it? is a weird shooter. Dude. <laughs> You're telling me, man. I'm having flashback. Oh, right. You know what? That's on me because now it's called game mp 41more <laughs> Somebody didn't overwrite. There we go. Oops. Boop. <laughs> no, that was on me, Brent. Um, okay, I'm gonna get refills. All right, get drinks. Get drank. Get drunk. Drink. <laughs> I got drink. You need to drink more, Pedro, so that you kiss Nicholas Cage. That remind me in two hours. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be back. Yes. I yeah, know I bought that um, fox onesie pajama thing for Nori all those years ago, and um, starting to wonder if I should get one for myself. <laughs> Just because she loves that thing and she wears it a lot, it's like, oh, it's really comfy. Mm. <laughs> Maybe get the uh, penguin one. That could work. <laughs> if I started watching videos on how to butcher meat, is at the rate I'm eating steak, it's probably cheaper to actually like buy a loin and butcher it myself. I mean, for the same weight, shouldn't you be uh, eating chicken to get that much protein? Uh, no. Be appar apparently, specifically, red beef has... Uh, or red meat. Not not that green beef. You should definitely <laughs> eat less green beef. The red uh, beef. <laughs> it's the black beef. Uh, no, uh, so um, red meat is higher in... Uh, uh, is more nutrient-rich in terms of micronutrients. Uh, right. Like, uh, like uh, selenium... Um, there's a, there's a, there's a whole article on it by Stan Efferding where he was, uh, where he was saying, um, red meat is usually better for like promoting muscle growth and whatnot for strength. Chicken is a lot cheaper. So if you're going to be like bodybuilding and trying to build up mass that way, chicken is cheap, but he recommends, yeah. um, some kind of ruminated meat. So lamb, pork, or, uh, beef or yeah. Lamb can be a bit of a bitch to cook. <laughs> Well, if you want it to be tasty anyway. <laughs> maybe, maybe I maybe I can butcher a loin as well as I butcher the English language. For those of you tuning in for the first time, Toad's not a cult. No, we're a self-help totally seminar. Guys. We're a religion. <laughs> yeah, we have tax-exempt <laughs> status, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I really we still got, we, st we still straight up have to do that. We still have to register L the Church of the Chairs as a religion. Uh, I might. Do you want to do the paperwork, Jordan? <laughs> it's not the paperwork. I got to pay somebody to do it because it, uh, it's. I think it's going to be less of a pain in the ass to get registered as a not for profit. Than it's just a straight up nonprofit because I'm gonna have to hire a fucking lawyer to take care of that shit. I'm not the 
reams of bullshit you got to go through. Then you get paid to submit it, and nine times out of thirteen, they'll it's government. They're gonna tell you to go fuck yourself. You didn't dot a lowercase <laughs> J. God said I didn't have to. Right. Now, like, give us another um, whatever that submission fee is. It's not cheap, dude. It's a couple hundred bucks. Uh, Jordan's doing his Nicolas Cage look. Hold on, can I can I do a good Nicolas Cage? <clears throat> no, all signs point to no. No, no. <laughs> Your lips are too thin. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> if only I had those. I giant don't know. Lips. Do you have any PCP handy? <laughs> uh, if you get, if you give me about two hours, I can. Um, like, know somebody, or <laughs> it's just a bus right away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you got, you, you got dial a PCP now. Dial a PCP. Yeah. <laughs> Pager Kent Proton? You, you, gotta, you gotta send them a fax. And then in two to three hours, they'll drive by with some PCP. Dude, you want to talk about flying under the radar, right? And I hope we're not uncovering, like, <laughs> pro-tip government. Yeah, like, check people's faxes. Monitor those fax <laughs> lines. It's like, damn, that's probably a pretty reasonably secure way to contact people with a POTS line and a fax machine. Yeah, security by obscurity, man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I do miss my job, guy. That's so cool. What? The jug dial on the Mackie. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Dude, ten minutes of like oh this is <laughs> like this is what this is what the the others live like. like oh. <laughs> That's all. It'll be a fun video. All right. The weed beeper. That, see, I, I, that would be a gardening device <laughs> that I would release. The weed beeper. It, I'm a weed beeper. <laughs> what do you do? You just aim it at plants and squeeze the trigger and it beeps at it. But what effect does it have on plants? <laughs> None. <laughs> it beeps. It beeps, damn you. All right. Let's beep some weeds, ladies and gentlemen, in three. I'm going <laughs> to beep some weed. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Two, one. Hey, yo, it's your boy, Weed Beeper, here to throw some chairs at Descent 3. Checking it on, I don't know, three Linux distributions, Fedora, Neon, Debian. It's all good. Um, Yeah, so we're taking a look at uh, Descent 3 uh, from Outrage Entertainment, ported by Icky Butt C. Gordon, Ryan himself. It's done on the Fusion Hot Engine. Ah. You can pick it up for about 10 bucks. Um, what is it? The Vertigo continues, right? <laughs> As the highly anticipated sequel to Descent I and II takes the mind-bending, pulse-pounding experience to a whole another level. Uh, we picked it up because we want to support Ryan C. Gordon because he does some good work. You should mm -hmm. also check out his Patreon. That's not, we're, we're not being paid to endorse this. He just does good work and you Yet. should support him. Yep. <laughs> uh, so let's get this going, Ven. How did it run on Debois? Our descent into Linux. As I'm buying time to find my camera. Hey, Where okay. am I? There Is it going to be Pedro in a little circle again? <laughs> Dude. Over uh, under. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed with this was like, hey, I, I want to maybe stream it. And you got to use the dash W feature from um, Steam command line. That needs to be fixed. Uh, that's how you put, put it in a window. But. Over here, I managed to eke by on the 1920X Threadripper, um, 32 gigs of RAM, Debian 10.3, whatever it is this week. You know, Debian's always changing things up. No issues, really. I mean, there's a little bit of audio crackle, like right when it launches and it plays that pixelated smear from, because you couldn't find the source. This has been upscaled from like a postage stamp. P. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough, man. This is, this is something that didn't look that great at 640 by 480 back in the day. A little bit of crackle, but um, everything else, 
a okay. Uh, the resolutions bit on the limited side. It's like, would you like 640 by 480, 800 by 600, 3840 by 2160? I was like, that's a bit of a leap. But you know what? Let's go with the UHD. Um, Tiny the, text mode. Yeah, it was hot, baby. Hot. Uh, mouse, keyboard, controller setup is straight up 1990 on hard mode, man. Uh, I tried it with the Steam PS4 X clone. They all kind of sort it while they moved. The menu stuff kind of moved around. Uh, but I would never... Uh, like be able to f pilot anything in this game using a standard controller. Maybe like four of them and you used your toes as well. You might be able to pull it off because this was built for something with 11 buttons, foot pedals, and a yoke. Serious, serious, serious stuff. You can, however, play with the keyboard. Keyboard and gerbil, serviceable, air quotes around that, because, um, man, the... Out of the box, let's just say if we were talking about this uh, during the break, I kind of wish it was bound, like the default layout is straight out of the 90s. Like it is physically yeah. impossible to play this game. This would, be, this would make for a fun stream, Pedro, is playing <laughs> this with the default layout in the keyboard. Because as soon as I say A, Ford, Z back, you're like, oh, I remember those days. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, but performance-wise, you would expect it holds 60 at 2160p on my 2060. So let's get into a little bit of fun that I like it. You know, I picked up Descent 3 in like 2000 from Loki because why not, right? We didn't have a lot of options and everything Loki put out was a new game I got to play because I had kernel 2.2. I had 64 megs of RAM and a swanky hot 3D effects card. I was probably on a 3500 or 4000. Might have still had my original pass to record, but I doubt it. After getting the CD mounted and installed, I sat back and enjoyed flailing into walls, hopelessly firing at enemies until exploded. Now, if we smash cut to like 2020, this is more of that. That, that was my entire experience with this trip down Nope Lane. Um, I tried using some of the advanced controller tech laying on the desk, as I talked about. But I could never come up with something that was more serviceable than a trackball and the keyboard, which I was just a dog shit trying to do that the entire time. Uh, got about an hour out of me originally, like 20 years ago. I was like, I'm making a Linux donation. And I sat down uh, this week and I kind of felt like I just made another Linux donation because, uh, you know, originally when this came out, it was like, it's OMG, 3D, everything. Look, it's totally 3D. You know, when it sent one. Descent 2, Descent 3. It was kind of a gimmick back in the day, and they, they sure as hell didn't have the mechanics nailed down back then. This, this is a very stark, while very performant reminder of that technology. Um, I bought this for the same reason I picked it up the first time, man. You know, I wanted to support Ryan, and all it did was remind me is I really didn't like this game. Now... This is definitely one of the things Ryan likes to show off. He's like, hey, man, we set up like this motion control thing with all the flight. I wouldn't mind having a go in something like that. I could dig it. This is like playing a flight sim with an Atari Joe's joystick. So no joy was had. Uh, technically, good enough. It's completely serviceable. It's good to have this with SDL2 running on a modem system. You don't really have to monkey around with anything. But as far as fun, mm, no. But buy it anyway. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, with the with the motion control thing you brought up, there seems to be a good reason why Descent Underground was like, yeah, we got VR support because I think this would actually like function pretty well as a VR title if it was done uh, natively there. But anyways, yeah, there's a there's a good 10, 15 minutes of uh, figuring out the controls here on uh, Fedora 30, 64 bit with the i7 6700K. That's the conservative the estimate. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like when you open that menu for the first time, you're like, oh, <laughs> this is just layer one. Right, right. Yeah. And it, it, it's a matter of like, okay, this should theoretically work. And then you get in the game and you're like, no, that did not work as well as it did nope. in my head. Um, also, also, like, so... If you if you want to if you want to get to the options menu and you're on XFC you're gonna have a bad time because you got to hit Alt F2 to get into the options menu which is the application menu shortcut in XFC so I had to unbind that in order for that to work that was fun um, yeah uh, I, I, while trying to get the controls working I found out that the DualShock 4 is a bit too much advanced technology for uh, Descent 3 apparently it is from an era where controllers only had two shoulder buttons and D pads and no analog sticks. 
So you gotta do you gotta do a little bit of uh, lurking around. Some combination of keyboard and mouse controls can be approximated, and it runs okay. Pedro Pedro raises a really good point about like trying to do loop de loops. He'll get into that on his section. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, it's a it's a fucking twenty one year old game, man. It it looks like one. Oh, the, the those cinematics, man. That's that's and that voice acting was rough. But that's what you had back in the day. That was what the budget allowed for. Hey, you got. Guy in the office, lunch dude, you have a good sounding voice. Get in the booth. <laughs> um, so yeah, fun wise, it's a. I mean, you really should be playing with a flight stick. That's what the controller, default controller, seems to be about. But it's a 60 OF shooter with like large, expansive labyrinthine levels. So pew pew, get lost, eventually trigger your goals, rinse, repeat. It's fun enough, I guess. Um, but you know, it's a 21 year old game. Descent Underground does it a lot better. You should check that out. If you got it for free, otherwise, yeah, it's yeah. You, well, unfortunately, yeah. like the Sin Underground isn't a thing anymore. That, um, yeah, yeah, womp womp, womp womp. Yeah. So uh, over here uh, with the thirty seven hundred X and the GTX ten eighty on KDE Neon, it launches and it immediately. The first thing I noticed was it jacked up the gamma on both my monitors to hundred and fifty percent. Like, really? Wait a minute. That, really? Are you running KDE? <laughs> Yes. All right. I just felt like <laughs> it's KDE Neon. Everyone. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> we we don't have he's, that. He's, he's running no on KDE Neon. Dude, he could be running KDE on Windows 10. This is a possibility. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's, you technically could, but you wouldn't want to. Uh, but yeah. Uh, first thing I do whenever I start a new game, because I'm one of those uh, stupid people, apparently, that uses the mouth, uh, the mouse on my left hand, and I use the arrow keys to move around in Wait, games. wait, wait, we gotta roll yeah, back with, with this fucking yeah. Vampire Hunter D hand of yours all of a sudden. No, he, he uses his mouth on his left hand. He likes no, to his suck left his own hand. Yes. <laughs> But no, it's yeah. The, the first thing I do is I go to the options menu and I go to the controls and I rebind everything because yeah. And well, uh, I tried to do that. Well, I did do that, but I got a little bit scared the first time around because I hit the button that I wanted to set and the little area that shows the key you have it set to was blank. It's like, oh god. Freaking damn it. Really? It doesn't work? But then I started the pilot training thing. It's like, oh, it is actually registering what I'm uh, setting as the key for that control. So it's just the uh, visual uh, display that's not working properly. The mouse look. That too was interesting because it defaults to um, flight controls instead of the default mouse look. Which means that the vertical axis is inverted. So that uh, tied a really, really weird knot in my brain, and I had to figure out really quickly how to change that because I just couldn't handle that. But I found where it was, and I disabled it, so that's cool. Um, the graphics, well, look at it. It's 1999 and old Splendor. Uh, and the sounds, they are very 99, uh, 1999 and old their Splendor. But... The menu music, that that I enjoyed. I spent a long time just sitting on the menu, just listening to the music. So there's that. Uh, the fun, it is fun. I I actually found myself having fun, but I also found myself very quickly hitting F four to uh, get the uh, little. Respects. No, no, the bot, that little helper bot that you can uh, spot in to show me where the fuck I'm supposed to be going because the game has no signposting whatsoever. This is the late 90s after all. But when you do get there, uh, the only thing that was really letting me down were the mouse controls. There's some kind of resistance when, you, when you're trying to pitch up and down and when it finally gets going, it tends to overshoot what you're trying to aim so it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse as to whether you're aiming at the right thing or not and i couldn't really find an option to disable that particular behavior so i'm going to chalk it up to the game being two decades old mm -hmm. and you know when you account Back for forth Back yeah 21 forth. years Back since this game forth. was released it's pretty good three chairs so one of the things I 
really want to hit on is Matthew. Matthew brought up a point, Strider. It's like in flight sims, the vertical axis is inverted always. It's one of the biggest issues of this game. It's not a flight sim. No, the, it's, it's an FPS that happens. To, it's a to shooter have with the controls degrees. of a flight yeah. sim. I mean, how many times is <laughs> like you know? I could. This is the same reason I, I don't have a helicopter. I can't fly a helicopter. There's other reasons why I don't have a helicopter. But I just, I want foot pedals. It's like I could probably if I could get like that extra. Why you, bullshit? You the V twenty two Osprey setup. The Widowmaker? <laughs> nah, dude. I'm good. I'm good. Just give me a mouse. I can fly that thing with a trackball, bitch. Bring it mm -hmm. into the ocean. <laughs> it was thirsty. Mm -hmm. Just like a Portuguese drone. Oh yeah. All right. Coming up next. Straight toss a coin to your Witcher. Or at least your Linux game cast so we can tell you how to run Witcher. Jingle jingle. Without using Eon. It's been Eon since I played. Mm. That's a joke. Because <laughs> it, it wasn't funny. That's how you know what I told you. It's been one week since you looked at me. Are we doing it? Slaps like tentacles, yeah, man. Um, pressure. I <laughs> do inverted um, like Y axis on controllers uh it, for controlling the camera because i'm weird like that <laughs> oh do you hear that gasp <gasps> either <laughs> but no with the mouse you invert my vertical movement on the mouse and my brain just goes no no <laughs> uh no. <laughs> You're wondering, oh, uh, we'll be playing Little Racer's Street. The new version. Mm -hmm. With the FNA. Little Racist Street? You're a little racist street. Man, I'm telling you. I haven't even paid much attention. Oh, he's got his Yoda t shirt on. All right. You can always tell where um, Pedro is in his laundry stack by which t-shirt he has. They get shuffled around. <laughs> you would think that. I have show thumbnails that tell a different story with a pattern, a very <laughs> distinct pattern. Are we going to do like the collage supercut? Mm -hmm. It's like Pedro every week for a year. It's just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Oh, dude, you know the game's good when it's got four twenty. <laughs> but its Metacritic score is in sixty nine, though. We gotta fix that. Damn. All right, we gotta fix that, man. Yellow critic for Swag Jesus. Doritos. Yeah. It's the nicest review score ever. Sixty nine. <laughs> Sixty nine. Very nice. How that dude doesn't get himself killed to death, man. Good on him. My wife. <laughs> That's doing some hard character, man, and sticking with it. Yep. You can be killed to death. Easy, man. Spend an afternoon with me, and you'd be like, "How did you not get killed to death?" <laughs> People, I mean, people die when they are killed. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they come back. Sometimes, ah. but not 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 if your name is Ben Parker or Ghost or Dad. or Tom or Martha Wayne. Mm. Wait, Martha. didn't they during the whole Spider Multiverse thing actually bring Ben Parker from one of the other dimensions? Okay, to... here's the thing: the more, more oh. I, I get caught up on like the DC universe and shit, like, like Batman is the most useless fucking like. like why are you still a thing? You've done nothing. You've created supervillains. You don't. You haven't fixed anything. You've just gotten a bunch of people killed, bats. <laughs> Yeah, you can't really examine the Batman mythology too hard. It's like, I don't kill anyone. I'm cracks. like, yeah, you do. You kill kill your sidekicks all the time, dude. <laughs> well, like, I mean, technically the Joker killed him after he ran in half-cocked. I, I can't take a human life. Um, 
It was like, all right, because uh, then there'd just be another murderer. And it was like, shoot somebody, kill yourself. Life hack. No, no, no. <laughs> Batman won't kill people, but he'll brutally cripple them and hospitalize them for life. Hell yeah. No killing. And he does it. He does it in like America. So th then they got to deal with like all the medical debt. Yeah. <laughs> That's what kills. <laughs> uh, it's adding yeah. insult to injury. <laughs> First, Aaron, what do you do? These are just random numbers. Like, okay. <laughs> That's correct. 25% <laughs> of people who bought the game probably never even started it. You know what? And I'm going to say 60% of that 25% were the people that had Scott's experience. <laughs> They're like, what, what? No, or mine. The first time I played, I got all the way to the bridge. And I'm like, you know what? I'll come back to this later. Yeah, you will from the beginning, fucko. <laughs> but, I mean, the one thing I wish I, I hadn't known was that, like, they've not released a patch to the game in dodge spam. You can genuinely achieve invulnerability just by spamming dodge. Yep. Like just hold down the trigger to keep shooting and dodge. This, this works. That's a, that's how I win my fights in here, man. Le legitimately getting <laughs> smashed up against the wall by another massive. Nope. You can just dodge spam your way through that until it goes off. Won't take a hit. It's messed up, man. But then you see like people who've really gotten like balls deep in that game, man. They have like all the crazy outfits and like weird stuff. You you see like nine ness running around like a maid's uniform like what? And you're like that's oh, platinum game. You know that's in there at some point. You can buy <laughs> oh, yeah. it. Um, <laughs> well, I I mean, wasn't the didn't the lead character designer on like near like what? Why why are all your androids so hot? And he's just like I just like drawing pretty girls. Yeah, no, he's straight up said it's like no, I like pretty people, so I made my characters hot. Well. <laughs> Near is balanced automata just simply because you're like, oh, look, you're running around in like a schoolgirl's like outfit. outfit. Yeah, but then you got like a schoolboy's yeah, outfit. Yeah, maid outfit and the yeah. schoolboy outfit. There you go. Oh, no. And, <laughs> oh. And, 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 then, and then the robots give birth to that naked dude, and you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> they, they, they have orgy, and then they combine into form of naked dude. Yeah, at that point, your brain's like, "Fuck it, whatevs." All right, I know what I'm in for. There's... Yeah, pretty, pretty much. It's like, okay, my 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 literal reaction was, "Okay, we're doing this. Yeah. Cool." It's like, why not? <laughs> that, that honestly, that's my reaction to most of the shit, the weird shit that happens here. Is like, are we doing this? All right, we're doing this. <laughs> really good game. Yes, I dug it. Oh, the fight against uh, Emil, if you steal from him, is uh, a bitch. Just saying. <laughs> Only, like, I caught him one time and he was like, buy some shit. And I'm like, I'm broke. I'm broke, motherfucker. Yeah, if you find his house, which uh, is on a pipe that is not accessible anywhere you can walk from, you need to literally jump off and float into the pipe. And then you have to go all the way down through some very, very high-level enemies, and then you get to his place. And you steal, it to, uh, steal from him the first time, and he says, Oh, someone stole some of my shit, so I bought a new and improved security system. Then you need to be playing as 9S to steal from him again, because it has one of the hacking chests. And then you do that. I just love you that. thieving ass goes straight to, yeah, I found a way to steal. Yep. It, it, yeah, you do uh, You do that, you hack into the chest, you steal the other thing, and it's like, it was you the whole time, I can't believe it. And then the fight begins. And basically, uh, if you're not at like level 99 or something, because mm -hmm. he is a level 99 enemy, it's a one-hit kill. You get hit by one of his bullets and you're dead. Okay, all I'm <laughs> hearing is that's like, so what, two hours of circle strafing? <laughs> no, that's the thing. You can circle strafe as much as you'd like. He blankets the area in bullets. Mm -hmm. So you have to have something to get rid of the bullets, like the um, the power-up for the little pod that creates a sort of a shield around you. I just used my weed helps. beeper. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, and hacking him is annoying. And it's really the only way that you're going to be able to deal any kind of damage. Mm -hmm. Because he has he's level 99, so he has like a million HP. You see, <laughs> that was like when I, when I started playing as 9S and like, oh, the hacking's bullet total. I can... This is no humble brag whatsoever. I just, I know, but my brain will, in bullet hells, just like flips autopilot. I can bullshit my way through it as long as I don't think about what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I find in, in in any sort of bullet hell, I need to like, I, I basically, I can't focus on it too much. I gotta like sing a song or something. I gotta order zone to... out from it. The second I like, oh shit, I gotta, and then I just start fuck. And it's the fuck up cascade of like, do you die? Yeah, because then, then, because you need, you need to sort of enter that flow state. Otherwise you think of too much about what you're doing and that's how you get fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, right, I, I need to take a piss. I'll be right back. That's what the kids are calling it these days, right? Flow state. I think that's always what it's been called, no? I don't know. It's called like zoning the hell out. Flow Whoa, state sounds like more adult. 1975 is when the term was coined, so I don't know. Mm. Oh, I thought that said condoms for a second. Never mind. What? I'm looking at the Wikipedia article for flow. <laughs> flow was a, uh, wasn't it like a Geico commercial character? I think that was progressive. Oh, okay. low from progress. Yeah, something like that. I had the progressive car Why? insurance. I had like the purple Why? diamond. Whatever. That doesn't even exist in Canada. Why do I know that? What? That flow from progressive exists. Internet. It was like an internet thing too, because everyone. Yeah, everyone was yeah. thirsty for flow. <laughs> thirsty for flow. Yeah. That's a T-shirt. People, people wanted to bang flow from the progressive commercials. Oh, no, 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 no context. Just thirsty for flow. Thirsty for flow. Comic Sans. Do, do, do. Let me see. So what do we all think of? I hate it. What is on a child's computer? From oh, the this NCAA, one. Yeah. National Crime Agency. I saw that. that one. Yeah. So let's start with browser use to access the dark, ooky, spooky web. Tor, a virtual machine can hide operating yeah, VMware. VMworks. Uh, Kali Linux is an operating Ooh. system often used for hacking. No, it's not. Um, Wi-Fi Pineapple. Oh, no. It can uh, capture the data bits. Discord. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. That's a little... Aha, uh, the West Midlands police. <laughs> and uh, Metasploit is a penetration giggity software that makes hacking simple. Told you it was Windows users. If you see any of these on their computer... Or have a child you think is hacking. Go check under the covers. See if you got a child hanging out and hacking. Like, damn it, I'm <laughs> infested with them. Um, let us know so we can give advice and engage them into positive... All right, motherfuckers. A, this just sounds like a checklist for responsible parenting. There's no B. Fuck you all. Make, make sure your children are using Tor and Kali Linux and virtual machines. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I mean, that, that's just like... You sh hey, your kid should be able to use all of that, period. I mean, I, I would have shown them. You got bigger problems if I'm showing your kid how to use Tor. It's like, Ven Stone, what are you doing in my house? Ah, ha, and I got this nightly whiplash mustache. And I'm like, ah, yes. I'm teaching your children the secrets of Kali Linux. Yeah. <laughs> Discord. <laughs> Sent us in a virtual machine. Yeah. Street and Little Racer Street is stylized. Man, how high are you? <laughs> Not high enough. Not high enough. I'll fix that. Don't worry. I'm high in all caps. <laughs> mm. So, do you know anybody in real life? 
that just types in all caps when they're angry, like on the internet. Yeah. Do they realize that no one reads that shit past like word one? No. No. I don't feel like telling them that either, because mm. like I don't want them to stop. Because if if they keep it in like regular casing, then I might actually have to read it to understand that it's just a bunch of re, right? So. <laughs> I just, uh, I, it's like, do you, I don't know, man. I understand, like, you're trying to get some emphasis on this, but it just, my brain really goes, next comment. I, 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 I use selective capitalization, all caps for, like, emphasis on stuff. I don't. All right, acronyms. I use all caps for acronyms. Yes. Yes, this is true. I'll, I'll use this. Yeah, like, I, I see all caps. I just imagine that person is verbally like, okay, so this is the one thing, and then, really? Okay, and then, like, oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of how I talk, so. I was like, that's how you get smacked. Um, I know people harder, IRL Daddy. that type in all caps all the time. <laughs> that's just good I know people who, I know fucking literally everyone doesn't know how to use an ellipse properly. That's fun. Dot, dot, dot. Damn no, it. you don't, Scott. Scott's lost again. What is he trying to say? Um. It's a rare triple <laughs> ellipse. <laughs> Trillips. Blink twice, Scott. <laughs> In Morse code. Uh, is, is, is bully is moose. Yes. Moose and squirrel. Moose and squirrel. Got one more thing left, and then we're free. Free to be yeah. you and me. <laughs> we can spreak. Spreak freely now. Yes. We can spreak. We can spreak all over the place. You can spreak if you want to. You can leave your freaks behind. But if your freaks don't spreak, and if they don't spreak, then they're no freaks of mine. In three, two. And if you've been around for uh, two decades yourself, chances are you probably have an opinion you'd like to share with the internet. We're not the way to do it. But if you have uh, something to say regarding Linux, something to say about what we did, something to say about, uh, well, something that we said that you don't agree with, <laughs> Well, no. there's a hate mail section just for you. And you can go to linuxgamecast.com and hit the contact button. Yep. Make sure you pick LGC Weekly from the little show box. And we will feature your message right here, right now. With a, a certain amount of caveats, they're all listed at the top of the page. If you don't read that, you done goofed. Fuck you, I'm right? from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Reading's hard. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I made it all the way. Yes, yeah, so you yeah. go to a website and you don't read. How the hell did you land on the contact it's page? A, it's a skill, baby. <laughs> Roulette, baby. Roulette. Owned over three decades. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> and uh, speaking of three decades, let's say you were born in uh, 1986, like okay. myself and Mr. Hickory Dickory here. All right. Um, so... Are you able to use Vulkan with The Witcher 2? I'm on Linux Mint and recently installed the Linux version from GOG, but my only renderer options are OpenGL 2.1 or 3.2. Are you playing this on Windows through Steam Play or what? Uh, I saw the title and was hoping an explanation or tutorial or something, but I haven't heard one yet. Toss a really? coin to your strider. No, don't do really? that. Really? Don't, don't give him money. <laughs> Uh, no, you shouldn't you should um, actually give him money. The, uh, the, 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 the version that Ven was playing was the Steam version? 
with yeah, Steam he's, he's play through, yeah, on Proton. Linux. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he, no, no. He's he's using Steam play. He's using Proton on Windows to run The Witcher mm -hmm. in a VM, running Kali Linux. <laughs> yep, through Discord. On Discord. <sighs> yep. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, this is a new hotness. I, I, I did write back because this came from the YouTubes and like you know, just using the... Because, you know, if you uh, keep track of this, I, I streamed a bit of The Witcher 2 when I found out that you could actually run Proton now. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll play it. 16 um, hours later. Um, <laughs> but it does run quite well with the Vulcan. Pretty much out of the box. There's one little thing. Go to Proton DB. There's one little config file you have to copy over it. Then it's going to run great. But it was also curious, how do I do this with GOG? How you do this with GOG is install Lutris. That's step one, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm sure there's a launch, GOG launcher for the Witcher too, right? Yeah. I'll let you use yeah. Vulcan. Easy as that, man. Other, other, yeah, otherwise, you, you can just otherwise straight straight up set up DXVK in a regular wine profile by using wine tricks. It's pretty easy. I gotta admit, this is one thing that Valve just got so right was give me a play button. Yeah. <laughs> no. Does my lazy ass have to do anything? Like the days of me, I, I personally used to enjoy dicking around with wine, but we're talking early 2000s of like, yay, I made this kind of, the window opened for a minute before it crashed. Yeah. Now, now all the wine prefix management stuff, it's real annoying. Stuff like Lutris and Steam Play is super useful for it. Or, I mean, if you just like the busted experience, you can use the Eon version that comes with GOG. Do you, oh, yeah, you can totally use the native Linux version. Native Linux version. Dude, you're native Linux version. I am. Your no face wheel. is a native Linux version. It is. <laughs> so, so, can, you, can you give me a little more sultry in that? <laughs> it is. Hmm. Mm. All right, beautiful people. We got to get out of here. Um, thanks for showing up. I guess we need to... Cue the music. You can always find this nonsense around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Where we'll be right here doing this. It's terrifying. Also, I'm, I'm, Jono, I'm scared. I, Jono, I need the super tablature for this fucking song because I couldn't find it. Um, I might be having to play a lot of guitar soon. You can always find me at Vin Stone on Twitter or just at Vin at mass.lindesteamcast.com. That's where I hang out. That's where I do the sexy. Uh, if you would like to recompile my Where did you think I was going with that? Do you think I was going to throw it to Pedro? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, like I said if, you want, if, uh, if, if you want to recompile my face, because my face is Linux native, as was previously discussed, you want another operating system, you can follow me on Twitter at TheBurningFool or go to Mastodon, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm at Frojo. I don't post there, but you can follow me if you want. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't ever want to see me doing the sexy, or find me doing the sexy, Kiss you it. can absolutely um you can absolutely yes, not follow me on twitter at unaccounted for or on i suppose i am on mastodon at unaccounted for as well but uh yeah much like jordan i do not post there i post there yeah well, someone had to I'm not going to dignify that with the fuck you. <laughs> which one's delightful, which one's wasteful, and which one's messy? You decide. Yes. Send us a We're like three dwarves, man. <laughs> three dwarves down. <laughs> Gotta thank all our lovely Patreons, our Patreons, and our Patreons, our executive producers. Yeah, our Did I stutter? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arthur and Mr. Foxdog. Empty. The Atomic Ass, Mike G, Bob Rev, Taplo, Aldeus, Matt Geek, Scoot, and... Not yes. Uh, Frost and Claw. Frost right. Claw. Yes. <laughs> and regular producers like David S. Smash G, Michael, Igal, Jolly, Topical, Gaius, Baltar, Mathieu, Yabo, Stonyfish, Krezichi, Mr. Alert, Michael N., Brad S., Massimoni, Dan W., Nubbin, Luke W., Brad C., Michael Dean, Dean, The Sildat, Igor, Scott, Ryan, Joe Angel, Evandro, Douglas, Rohit, Gonzo2000, Jupiter Broadcasting, Renault, 
Ooh, Mr. Mango, sir. Eric, Rose Mulata, Ryan, Nathan, the Admiral JT, and... <laughs> you monster. <laughs> Just evil. All of you. Yeah. And We've got to thank our, people, our, fu our fuck buddies, too. Yeah. Those guys on the wall behind Ven. Damn it. Thanks for giving us supplies. Oh, yeah. Yay! We make things. Yay. Thank you, Arthur. We do cool shit. Thank <laughs> Arthur, you Arthur very much. Just the hell out. <laughs> Died to fire everyone. Bye. Do we, have a, do we have a bang oh well? <laughs> I apologize for ever finding that. Um, <laughs> my bad. Let's get this business saved. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs> it means Freddie Mercury. <laughs> As much weeb shit as you post, Scott, I have a little difficulty. I don't know what it means. <laughs> like, I don't. I'm not going to Google it, because I don't want to know. It's a mystery, man. <laughs> Trying to cut back his high in mercury, baby. <laughs> I do like in Chrome Ready High School, Freddie Mercury is just a character in there that doesn't say anything. He just shows up. No one questions it. Right on. <laughs> and he's, he's, he's always just in the fucking no shirt suspenders. Always. And remember, it is the season, kids. Love sausage baby. <laughs> <laughs> Love sausage baby. <laughs> so it's just pigs in blankets, but shaped pigs like a heart? Pigs in blankets, yep. Pigs. Pigs. Nope. Pigs. Tune in, tune in, tune in next Gzz. week when we replace Pedro's heart with a sausage. Find out what happens. <laughs> so I understand <laughs> that this is a meme, but I got questions about the um, first part. If I can find it, I know I saved it. Okay. Um. I have questions about the top of this image. <laughs> I'm fucking Todd. Yeah, Todd. Todd Dick. fucked it up again. <laughs> Todd had to go ruin it for the rest of us. Right? <laughs> what an asshole. I don't know. What's, <laughs> what, what's Pug Red? Is that like Pug red. Pug red. Uh, Peplo, you're going to have to expand on that one. Um, I'm looking at for the one Jono did. That one. Oh, this is this is what Jiffy thinks uh, pug red is. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Pug red. Pub, pub, pug red battlegrounds. There you go. <laughs> Tippy <-tap. laughs> Somebody, did you, did you see like the truck going down the um, interstates and like one of the wheels was like <laughs> violently shaking and somebody's like, oh, that belongs in our tippy taps. Yeah. Yeah. I once uh, overtook a truck that had one of the tires on the outside that was completely flat, and it was still rolling. And it was basically Nori uh, on the passenger window going, tire blown, tire blown. <laughs> I thought I thought you were going to say that she was the tire. <laughs> no, and uh, they, you know, they did pull over us. We just kept driving, so we didn't stick around to see what they did. But yeah, no, they they did pull over, so that's cool. <laughs> what to do? I'm gonna go. drive up a side and like land upside down and slide for a bit. <laughs> but they were driving like a Jack Banjo, like way back. Uh, it's like you know what? 
I hope no kids are in there, because if no kids are in there, fuck all the else on that one. Um, no, the worst that those I saw was, um, I think I told this before, but I was, um, Oh, still geez, in this one again? <laughs> I was still in university, and I was driving down, because uh, I had gone to see my parents for the weekend, and the car just merged onto the highway and went straight into the ditch. Like, I have right. had a person, like, blast <laughs> by me on a surface road while it was just raining. Then come to find them, you know, a couple of clicks down the road, straight up in the ditch. That's the only time I won't stop and help. <laughs> like I just normally I'll stop flat tire or something like that. I'm probably gonna get shot one day. I'm like, hello, I'm here to help you. Blam! Change your tire. <laughs> Fuck you! And I'm gonna take your tire apart and beat you with it. Yeah, the the highway was pretty packed that day, so I pulled over at the uh, rest stop afterwards. I called one one two, which is the Portuguese nine one one. And, uh, it's like, yeah, there was, um, a car that went straight into the ditch, uh, right after the exit to Villa Mora, and, yeah, just, can, oh yeah, we, we're already aware of that, we've already, uh, sent some ambulances, cool. I think I called the emergency hotline like twice in my life. <laughs> One was for a fire at the uh, campsite I used to work in during the summer because it caught fire. <laughs> it's like, no, uh, we're already aware. It's like, I just started and you're already aware. Yeah, someone's already called. It's like, I you might want to talk to that person. <laughs> Oh no, my GitHub issue has attracted a moron. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Mr. Alert, it depends on the game, but it's usually like 24 hours at most. Yeah, like as soon as you don't expect it, it'll be like 10 minutes. Like, oh, there it is. I got a refund on The Witcher 2 before refunds on Steam are even a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that move. That might take a minute, if ever. <laughs> yeah, y you just uh, be sure to copy paste exactly the thing that uh, Psyonix told you to do. Because apparently uh, Valve have an automated thing that if you just post that, they'll approve it. But if you don't, they'll deny it if you have more than two hours played. Yeah, basically, uh, I think it was Popey and a couple other people on Twitter that were saying, it's like, yeah, no, if you just copy-paste what they told you to say, they, they give you the refund. Meh. Me? Nah. I'm throwing a scroll. <laughs> uh, Scourge. Steam. There it is. Steam. Look at that. Look at that. We're in a main menu and I have fuck all idea how we do multiplayer in this. Um. <laughs> is there not a multiplayer button? <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> oh, wow. 5,000 5, 000 FPS. <laughs> I got 60. V-Sync just kicked in, yo. <laughs> Let's see. Settings, graphics, V-Sync on. 144. Very good there, uh, Flippity Jibabo. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Quick race doesn't do what I thought it did. Um... <laughs> No. Exit. Take two. Um. Uh, 
race. This does have online multiplayer, right? It does? <laughs> I was led to believe it did. Um... Yes, you go to career mode and there is multiplayer. Whoops. Career. Oh, yeah, all right. I, 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 <laughs> listen, man, I was testing you. Um. <laughs> And there are no games on, so, uh... <laughs> you know what? We'll just make it pubic, then. <laughs> Do I have options? Nope. <laughs> Alright. I think it's the cars you own, maybe? <laughs> That's... Waiting for Surfer to be ready. Can you hit the invite? No. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Hope nobody's accidentally in this. I'm just sending them an invite. <laughs> there. I just put the invite. game. <laughs> I'm still joining game. Couldn't join the session. Can't contact the host. Does this thing need... I, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm not seeing anybody showing up. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it says on your screen, waiting for server to be ready. Maybe <laughs> the server isn't ready. <laughs> Public? Car collisions? AI fill limit? None. Maybe it the date break the server down. <laughs> online multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, looks like it had. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm trying to join you. Right click join is it says joining game, but then it says it can connect to host. I'm just pushing buttons at this point, seeing if anything happens. Well, this is unlocked any level of bullshit. Huh. All right, I'll try setting the host and the AI fill limit is... See if you can yes. connect. Max players 12, car collisions on. Okay, and we'll pick that car. It still says waiting for server to be ready. <laughs> What if I invite, let's see, Jill, and Mir, and Foxy, and Scott. anything no one's joining so i'm assuming that does not work all right nope, nope. same error no joy <laughs> yeah i guess it had online multi online <laughs> multiplayer that was a point <laughs> damn shame then all right. Create new game. Classic race. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
pickups, destructible vehicles. Mm, no. <laughs> Insta kill. Bots are off. Engine power, right. Vehicle types. Let's just all stick on the ground. Um, let's try. Let's try this one. Can is there a way to set this thing to like cycle tracks? Uh it's a very good question. <laughs> Ooh! Wait. Eh, let's just create. Boop. And to the after game zones. After game. Boop. Oh, Scott, I could have told you that, that game came out before Unreal Engine 4 existed. Oh, this is a uh, grip? grip? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, Little Little Racing Street doesn't have multiplayer <laughs> anymore. Either that or we just can't create a server. I wonder if it's like Steam Overlay now. Can you like start up the game? We've already game? ran through all the. Um, uh, yeah. All right. Okay, I tried. Thank you. <laughs> Your participation was appreciated, citizen. <laughs> you appreciate your your participation was noted. Okay, so we're going to be doing a uh, grip. 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 It's grip and rip. All right. Multiplayer. Discord. Join oh. specific game. Linux game cast. <laughs> See, that might actually be an interesting thing for Discord to try out. Like, do their own game discovery service. Because mm. everyone's on fucking Discord, right? So Yeah, they did a thing for like their own overlay, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, like, make it make it a generic one, like Hey, mm. we'll uh, we'll integrate your like multiplayer shit with Discord. We have, we have the points of presence, right? Right. Um, all right. Browse games. But Discord's kind of rolled back on the gaming thing. Join like specific that. game, Jordan. Linux game Join cast. Specific game. <laughs> okay. Join. Joining with Linux game cast. There it is. <laughs> I don't know, because, like, yeah, Discord failed at their store, but that's because, like, Epic came and ate their lunch. Like, listen, man, you don't have to sell your games on your store. We'll just pay you. And you can just have your games <laughs> yeah. on our store. <laughs> uh, what is it going to be? How do we go from not ready to ready? Uh, triangle. Or uh, why? Yes. Why? <laughs> why? Yay! Whoops! <laughs> okay, that's gonna get challenge mode in a minute. One sec. Racism! <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to come in last. Yay! I don't remember how to play this game, I genuinely don't. Doesn't matter. I'm just bad at racing games. Oh, that's cool. Whoop! God! Whee! Whoa! Uh oh! Right, triangle triangle is boosting this. They used to like sell a toy that was basically this. Yep. <laughs> it's like an RC racer. It's that basically could, like, a roll cage. Again. <laughs> You're a roll cage. Oh, and I fell off the thing. Woo. And Serves you. Right, because I just did the same thing. Um. <laughs> we no. I do damn, I dodged the fuck out of the boost pad. Whoa. Didn't oh. got it. No. 
Ooh, Ooh. got that one. Oh, I got, I got the boosty. I got the boosty boost. Boom. Aha, eat shit and die. We. Oh, like you dick! You smack, I like how if you dick. smack into anything, you just completely right. lose control. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm going to Wow, this track uh, gives uh, distance a run for its uh, BS money. <laughs> a run for its distance. <laughs> oh no! Oh, ah. oh no! Dick! Damn you, I inside! <laughs> and oh, I'm oh. off the map again. Hey man, I got this. Damn it. Ah, no, no! <laughs> Come on! I don't remember uh, what the nitrous button is! Maybe. <laughs> Can I steer there? No, I can't. Uh, what? I'm so confused. All right, I did it. Wrong way. Got it. This way. Lap two. Kind of. We're doing it, Reddit. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's happening. What? What exactly Jeez. is happening? I have no idea. But whatever it is, it it is in fact happening. True story. What's that do? Oh, that's jump. Okay. <laughs> and like, what are you? What are you? What are you supposed to do? What? I'm stuck? Can I... I'm going the wrong... This game makes no sense. You you genuinely act like any of us are having a different experience. Um, <laughs> no. Well, clear, clearly you are, because you guys are way the fuck ahead of me, so... That's persistence, baby. Oh, wow. I keep veering off the oh. track. <laughs> oh, apparently I'm not allowed to jump because I was upside down. I don't know what that does. Whoa. Oh, cool. That's a crazy one. Boom. So yeah. crazy, you guys. And I'm off the track again because that's oh, then off the track again. Hey, there's somebody. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we into a Wow, you then, then you you just knocked me off the map. Cool. Alright. I was just the curse. Oh! Wait, which way am I supposed to go? Getting mixed signals, not that way. <laughs> right. <laughs> this game, this game encourages one behavior and then just like punishes you for it. And it's super weird. This is ah. Uh... Ah. <laughs> okay, maybe putting this. This is the medium oh. map too, fuckers. Right, like. Lap three. Yeah, it, it, it puts a boost pad like directly in the way of the turn so that you hit it and then you just go flying off the edge. Like. Yep. This, this I could see once you actually have the track memorized, you could bullshit your way through this. Maybe. All right, final lap. Yeah, suck that right. rock. <laughs> what, are you just gonna let me? <laughs> Fine. And oh, I stuck to the. Not, not for long, though. Those hopes were dashed. <laughs> Take two. And it. All right. Somehow, somehow, I did that. <laughs> no, still Got finished it. second. Right, right behind Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Damn it! Come I can't lose to Mr. Fox Dog. I probably will lose to Mr. Fox Dog. I hate this game. Oh hell. Let me land this game. Give me this one. Yes. <laughs> Fucking shit. I know those feels, man. God damn it! <laughs> Duh! I have no idea what the nitrous key is. It's <laughs> it's uh High triangle. wall in slow motion. It, oh yeah, no, I'm playing with the keyboard. <laughs> God fucking damn it! I I hate this hey, game so much. Yay! I glitch, didn't glitch. I bullshit <laughs> my way to the end. Oh, you and Foxy are tied. I hit a button and apparently it brought up my stats, which are terrible. <laughs> Oh, 
fucking hate this game. <laughs> well, I think we can collectively go. I have no idea what the hell we just did. Um, no. Nope. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So, let's. The battle cars mode in this is kind of fun. Yeah, I don't know how to set up like regular trucks. Um, let's go back to multiplayer. So I got to do create a new game. All right. I got a giant oh, specific good. That game. gives me a chance to go into the controls and figure out which one is uh, boost. Oh, okay. That doesn't make any sense. Orbital is it like or? insert? It was enter. What? Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. Network error. Game ID exists. All right. Linux Gamecast. Yeah, One. people who are in Linux Gamecast, you need to get out. <laughs> I'm connecting to Linux Gamecasty. Casty bombasty. Gamecasty. What was the name? <laughs> <laughs> that thing we were just saying. Yeah, I'm trying with a Y at the end. It's not working. One. One. Uh. <laughs> it just looks like an I. Uh. <laughs> see? You see? Okay. You now see? boost is up on my um, keyboard. <laughs> Mine, Mine's like triangle with my Xbox controller because I didn't. I Yeah, right? Like... I, it's not Rocket League, and my brain is like has not adapted to that just yet. Mm, fair enough. You know, like any of us know what we're doing, and then me and Pedro in the front duking it for one two. <laughs> like I, like I said, like yeah, somehow no. you guys, you guys are having a clearly different experience because somehow <laughs> you're succeeding at what the game puts in front of you. I, on the other hand. No oh no, I was failing miserably. I just happened to be in first place doing it <laughs> until Scott overtook me. <laughs> I was in the last place at the very start, so yeah, that was good. <laughs> I, think I, I managed to get the uh, boost timing right, um, right at the start, and um, I slammed right into someone who didn't go. I didn't play so around with it, man. Pointless. I was just... <laughs> Failing at a faster pace than Jordan. <laughs> yeah, <Fox>. pretty much. <laughs> that was my strat. So just keep going, man. Keep I'm going. Keep resetting. Yeah, this, this oh, game yeah, is yeah. very we unclear. Track. We, we fell off several times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I fell off all the time. Several times. I fell off several hundred times. We just, right. uh, oh, this is fighting mode. <laughs> all right. Fighting, fighting mode Fight. is fun because at least, Fight. like... Fight. You don't have to stay on a track that is actively trying to kill you. I put it on so you Jordan. Say that, but I'm looking at a giant track yeah. with a ramp right in front of me. I got missiles, bitches. I can tell uh, missiles and bitches. Woo! Oh, hello. I'm gonna find a way to fall oh, off the floor. Oh, Foxy, your lag is something. <laughs> Here comes a bullet. <laughs> hey, Pedro, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ben. What's up? Whee! Boo! <laughs> I will just boost into you, dude. I'm sad Ow. like there isn't a ramming mechanic in this. <laughs> oh, I said, Oh, there is. Well, if I'm lagging so much, why do you keep hitting me? Cause it's easy. <laughs> Cause it's easy. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, you didn't expect me to be Back. half confident, did you? Nope. I don't even know what I expected. <laughs> oh hell. Right, laser guns. Laser guns are fucking me up. Yeah, laser I saw the laser gun and I'm like, okay, clearly clearly there are there am laser. Oh fuck guns. me, no 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 what the fuck is that? Bullets. Oh, I see you, Foxy, going No, <laughs> don't, not me, bullets. Other person bullets. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can play at this game, Mr. Stone. Yeah, well, all right, dick. Hey, Scott, come here. I want to show you something. Boom. 
to hit no one. Fuck I want to show you my special <laughs> things. <laughs> really? Whoa! There's the. You can get to the inside uh, of the no, magnarium or whatever the fuck this yes, is. Yes, the magnarium. Yes, the magnarium. That's what I'm calling it because that's what I got this. Like. <laughs> what the fuck? under this? control, you guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Is this still shoot? Yeah, yeah, I can. can. Shit. This game. <laughs> Where's the fucking handbrake oh, in this game? That's I'm gonna take someone out with me. Boom. <laughs> No, no pew pew gun. Stop pew pewing me. <laughs> pew -pew I don't gun. consent. I don't. I don't consent. I don't consent to the pew pew. Put your pew pew back in your Wee! pants. No. I got exploded. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm 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 on the I'm on the ceiling Ow. now. Okay, I got this. Oh wow, wow. Uh -huh. That is so location. Hi. <laughs> you were just meandering <laughs> towards me. It was something that just fell off me. <laughs> oh hell. You know what, Gabe? Fuck you. Um Ha Stop uh, that. I killed myself, damn it. I keep ending up back in the Magnarium. It's terrible. <laughs> it's the worst. I hate it. I was juggled there. Damn you, Magma. You're the worst. Yay. Woo. Spray and pray. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Ah, God damn Aww. it. <laughs> Nope. and <laughs> Now I get a shield. Lovely. <laughs> I just need a weapon. That'd be lovely. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go down. Play. <laughs> What's up, bitches? Oh man, Ben! <laughs> Come back! You're doing good, Ben. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna die on one hit. There it goes, a Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I had like no health left. 94% damage. Still ticking. If you're looking for me, I'm the one with the flames flying out yeah. of the Yeah, ninety-eight. Yep. Scott, do you have to be beating me in everything? <laughs> I came. I came second. I came, six. I came fourth. I beat Foxy and Ven. Go, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nothing if not consistent. <laughs> consistent pain in my ass. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play one more race, then what do you say? A little bit of Jackbox and we'll get out of here? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Cool. So, <laughs> let me Jack create a new game. And... Uh, so, you, you know what? You know it has, uh, you know it has teams and um, supports a bunch of players is this the original game. Star Wars Battlefront. And it's on the Proton whitelist. Oh, yeah. Mm. And it's usually on sale for like five bucks. And if you, yeah, I think it was in the uh, Star Wars Humble Bundle. Hmm. Come on, Gabe. Don't be like that. Why, why you gotta be that way? I'm telling you, man. Why you gotta be so cruel? Uh -huh. Give me my left and right triggers. No. Well, at least give me. Yeah, you gotta so... click on the. Th uh, you gotta hit A on that one, then you can change. <laughs> yeah, let's put it on. Wicked easy. 
What do you, what do you yes, a track that we're not constantly veering off of. Yeah. Fine. Is it still uh, <laughs> Linux Gamecasty? Uh, probably. Linux Gamecast one, if everyone actually let's put it on Linux Gamecast two, as I'm sure well, somebody. We're on one then right now. That's well, cute. we're apparently we're going to two. Okay. Yeah. See, go pagers, with... they're waiting. <laughs> Enter doesn't do it. You have to click join. Boo. Ready, ready. Tick tock. <laughs> Is that it? Tickety. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's get wrecked. Do, do, do. Doot, doot, doot. Bam! Flying off tracks. What, what we need is like what they have the bowling alley and you know, like their side bumpers. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were talking about like an actual bowling level of this. <laughs> I okay. I'll be done with it. Uh oh. Look at me go! Yeah! Oof. It's Oof. basically distance at this point. Damn it! Quit that! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> guess we're going this way. <laughs> I have the Kamehameha. Oh. <laughs> we gotta go into the toilet. Missed. I always miss the toilet, Ben. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> God, quit it. Oh. Stop! <laughs> My God! You monster. I'm confused. What am yeah, I yeah. <laughs> yes, there's Love a lot it. of that going on. <laughs> oh, oh but the, I, that's the wrong way. Okay, where am I supposed to go, game? Do you want to... Uh, maybe this way? Yeah. No, it doesn't oh. want to... Okay, I guess. You know what? I think I'm about to complete a lap, so yes, shit will be talked. It said it said wrong game or wrong way, even though it was actually the right way. That was a confusion. Yes, that was, it was very confusing. No, Scott, wrong means wrong. <laughs> yeah, pick an easy level. Canada. It'll 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 Apparently. it'll be fun. Calm down, Casanova. <laughs> That's what they call me, old Casanova Swung. Whoop. Speed. I would like to have my wheels on the ground, thank you. <laughs> this game is wholeheartedly against that idea, man. Yeah, you're not you're not you're not allowed to You're not allowed to know what the fuck you're doing in this game, apparently. This is just like one long ride in a tube. Yes. It's tubular. It's just Tubular, like a Michael Field album. <laughs> it's like if Michael Bay wrote a movie with a plot. <laughs> It'd be like this. And that was how Transformers 8 was made. Ugh. The search for more money. Man, I wish a movie would just come out and say that. It's like, yeah, the sequel. <laughs> we money. did this to make money. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh, Final lap. 
Oh man. Wheels on the floor, please. Slow Wheels motion. on the floor. Why do I got hippie vision? Uh, <laughs> Everyone's got hippie vision. I don't <laughs> understand what's happening. That is a very surefire way to cock me up, man. I guess that works on everyone, <laughs> yep. though. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't having an MLG oh moment. But... Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> See, my strat is trying to flail in the general direction of the track. So... Who's in front and of which me? direction is that again? I don't know. Up is down. Yeah. Down is I, something. I okay. One more. Come on. We're getting there. Oh, oh yes. Pedro, are you in front of me? Oh, I am all the way in first. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to smash into this. I, I, my, I was thirsty. <laughs> and I finished. <laughs> well, the game will end in a minute. Can I finish it this time? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Find out. That's... I don't think I'm going to make this. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one was easy. <laughs> Says you, Mr. First fucking place. <laughs> yeah, pick, pick an easy track, yeah. Come on, just, oh, there goes come on! Slow yes. motion! Yes. Yay! <laughs> no slow mo! No Where slow mo! Pure oh, skill. That's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. So two seconds Finish. in the first. I'll take it. <laughs> Dude, you spanked me. <laughs> By a whole of about thirty seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're straight up elite next level shit compared to some. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't make it. All we did was manage to stay on the track more. Pretty much, yeah. I didn't veer off course all that yeah. often this time around. <laughs> okay. That first lap, lap screwed me up. No, I think it Stuff like that. Come on, game. Uh, if you look at a game. track, there's, there's car tracks that go down there. There, but well, who was actually I, looking? I, I like that part where you go out of the tunnel and then you have to like turn around and then the camera yep. just completely fucks up. Mm -hmm. and you're just like, mm -hmm. I can't see where I'm going. And it says wrong way, even though that's the way it's supposed to go. Yeah. Oh, this game was. There's a lot of stuff like that because I played a couple hours into the single player game. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of just fuck you in this game. And it's mm -hmm. not accidents, it's not sloppy. It, it's intentional fuck yeah, you. Yeah, it's... This, it's is, this is surgically designed to, like, fuck you much. up. Fuck your day up. I can respect that. Unreliable na narrator. <laughs> Thank you, Chi. I think... If it's the super tablature, the sheet music... So I can play it, and not just the songs. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> if it's not... Oh, Greg Leto, thank you very much for the sub. I didn't see that. <laughs> Look at Pedro rewarding bad behavior. Be in our bit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to stick around and give us subs, yeah. <laughs> give us some. <laughs> what are you feeling... Pick a number, one, two through six, Jordan. Uh, I'm going to go with four. Four, four it is. Aww. <laughs> All right. So we got I was six. like, do I do I have a six-sided die handy? No. Do mm -hmm. I have time to do the expression in bash? No. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, Nori is like, uh, yeah, so some of my uh, classmates are going to be running a D&D &D campaign. I oh, need wow. some dies, like... I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> yeah, we should get Nori on for one of the uh, Thursday Smash RPG cut to next week, and she's like, and I'm leaving you now. I've met yeah. the <laughs> elf in I'm, my I'm, dreams. Throndir understands me in a way that you never could. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so you gotta head over to, if you want to play the home game. Jackbox.tv and sign in with the little hamburger menu. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that means... Yes, sir. Uh, Hamburger. Pedro, we really got to figure out the dirt, scheduling dirt, for Dungeons dirt. and Damasas, though. We got to do Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. Yeah, right after yeah. we get done uh, the uh, finishing <laughs> the Tommy Wiseau movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, no. Actually, shit. No, that's what we could do. We, I, I, I could build like Johnny, and you could build Mark, and then we do dungeon crawls. Right. <laughs> and okay, like other so... people can. We, we, we base our party on the the movie The Room. <laughs> <laughs> who, who gets to be the room? <laughs> The, the dungeon master, obviously. Okay. <laughs> uh, hang on. We, we could have, like, Denny and Lisa and that one guy <laughs> who they, like, changed to Zachary midway through the movie because the dude just quit. And <laughs> Yay. Um, I didn't reshoot the old part. Nope. Everyone get ready to tippy taps. Ooh, 20 people watching. Tippy tippy tap. Zai. Zai. Yeah. I like this one. Unable to join a room due to a server error. Ha. Ha ha. ha. Did you sign in with Twitch too. with the hamburger menu? <laughs> I did. All right. Then I, I did too. Of... Have you have you tried accepting Jesus into Hold your on, heart? I'll try again. Well, I refreshed that <laughs> I made it. Got in, so. Well, that's one point for Jesus. <laughs> All right, one more. <laughs> two more. No, it's not a two more. It's a one more. It's a three more. <laughs> Claymore. Four more. Hey! Never more. There we go. Damn it! You took one. Uh, <laughs> Ever more. Whore more. Wait, you can't do whore more. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <Pick my door. laughs> I mean, you can. Whore, whore, whore more doesn't. It, that's not even a word. Is Fuck it? you! I want to believe. <laughs> it, it just, it's one of those things that sounds <laughs> like dirty or offensive, but it doesn't mean anything. Hormor is effectively my twenty suit. So <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Appar apparently, they're they're a band. Naturally. Um, <laughs> let me do a bio break. Uh, get a refill, and we're gonna rock into this. I'm gonna do that too. All right. Cool. Four it's all more you, Jay, years. Baby. Four more years. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's me, that one guy on that one show every couple weeks. Yeah. That's how time works. Wow. Sure. Hello there. Mr. Foxdog, how's it going? Do you do any interesting C64 what are stuff? What you doing this fine evening? Nah, not lightly. No. Muddling your way through hills for looking to get another one, just so I can <laughs> fumbling my way. Yeah, sort of. Did you Listen, get a man, new chair? Every time I try, I just die even sooner. Thacko is not kind. Did you get a new chair? No. <laughs> I haven't gotten you anything. I've got no fucking money. Yeah, have you got a new nope. job yet? <laughs> nope. There are lots of fantastic remote work opportunities. Don't you want to work a job that time. doesn't require you to wear pants? <laughs> <laughs> or like ever really leave your house? You could just like turtle up and never see anyone ever again. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Never have to brush your teeth, <laughs> shower, or make yourself presentable. Because no one will ever see or hear or see. How do I make you. myself presentable anyway? <laughs> My workplace is one of the most casual workplaces you'll ever find. Right, but you can't go to your work naked. No one dresses up. 
<laughs> oh, is, is it a nudist workplace? No, not naked. <laughs> <laughs> but we have turned up in like t-shirts and shorts and thongs before. I um, will say this: if your work computer is a Mac, my do sandals. not use it naked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would Why? That, get, that Wait, gets hot. Work? That gets hot fast. <laughs> work? <laughs> work in the Sandals. For, it happened to a sandals. friend of we a friend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just eating eight Pringles? No, you gotta eat like eight Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> Dressing casual in the workplace. Dressing and by casual, casual you, I mean you have not to at all. warm it up on a MacBook Air. You mean like wearing my sparkly thong, or? Oh no, no, we're, we're talking about we're talking about naked workplace. Naked workplace. Naked workplace. Well, oh, dude. Our old office was Wait a minute, building. can this be a fast food restaurant? As long as they wear nets over their. Because I'm saying, not <laughs> only can you, not only do you come there for food, yes. you also go there as a spectator sport. You what there for pube net and yeah we're we're good for naked restaurant. Yep. That's yep. Uh, that's what I'm saying, dude. Uh, no, you go there for <laughs> food, but also as a spectator sport because you you yep. what, you're, you're waiting for you, the you you watch the kitchen. Yep. Yeah. And I mean nude. I mean no socks, no shoes, slippery greasy floor. <laughs> you just see people sliding out of the kitchen. <laughs> no, you see people right getting into horrible the oil burdens. Dude. Yeah. And there's a couple of like, and all the deep fryers are pit fryers. They're below, f <laughs> below the floor. There's no safety rails. No, th and there's a bunch of like open fire pits for cooking too. Yeah. Charcoal <laughs> grills. That'd be awesome. There's those no ventilation. Yeah, we just, no oxygen. We just suck it out. Fuck with them. But only for like a minute every hour. <laughs> it's at random. Hey, Keeps them on their toes. Hide them. It. I thought it was like lying on the floor. But close enough. Now, where my old office was is in a building where <laughs> there was a lot of bankers and architects, all well suited Good people. Maggie. And one day I thought I was just going to mess with them. I thought I was just going to mess with them. I, I went full on <laughs> bogan. Like jean shorts, Uggies, Iron Maiden t shirt, ripped the whole hell. This it is the like part where we so try to decrypt funny. the word bogan based on the clues provided. But, <laughs> <Uggies. Redneck. laughs> oh yeah, I, I guess I guess you guys invented Ugg boots, right? Like, it's a fashion thing over here. Oh, uh, it's the, uh, it's still a very big de debate about that. Like in the legal court, on who invented the Ugg boot, is it either us or New Zealand? One or the other. I think it. <laughs> I think New Zealand I actually kind of the, 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 the point is, is that the shoe wear Old Zealand would like a word. Originated in that sort of area. <laughs> Oceania. Yeah, that's Let's call it. Yeah, no, no worries. I've Apparently just we're lying. All the doorknobs in the studio. Oh, yeah. Everything we're we're finding out who the best liar oh, is. anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience we're telling each other fibs. To fool those gullible players, <laughs> and they also get to guess Stupid the truth. Stupid gullible players. I think players. it's the fibs. <laughs> Oh, we're not getting audio from the game. This is round yeah. one, which means you get 500 points for everyone you fool. Donkey. Okay. made up answer, and you'll net a There we go. Thank you. The truth. All right. Oh, come on, Jill. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jill's picking. April Fool's. <laughs> oh. On April Fool's Day, 1973, oh, okay. Yoko Ono and John Lennon held a press conference at which they announced they had blank. A sarcophagus. Now, something up to fool your opponents <laughs> and submit it on your device. If you can't think of anything, that lie for me button will give you a suggestion for half the points. Do it now. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to believe what I just taught, but it's not going to happen. What singing lessons? Don't, don't you hate it when you type in the you type in the thing? It's like no, that's the actual uh, one. And you're yeah. Like, Shit. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a couple times. <laughs> I'm thinking like Jeopardy issues. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device.
had preggers. <laughs> they had preggers? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Once you sure pop, you can't stop. Really real back then. <laughs> how, how, how am Babber <laughs> formed? <laughs> A Bobby. Uh, Good line. Too, uh, too easy. <laughs> Found a quarter in the street. <laughs> wow. Hey, points. Gotten. Gotten is not a word. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> don't tell him that. I, I saw that. I'm like, I don't know, but the uh, airlines can't. Really... Okay. Uh, I'm still that's not sure the, if they that's were... how I know oh, that one yeah. wasn't wasn't the thing. It's like that's not a word. This is why the world hates hippies. Um, I saw that. No, I'm like, no. uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hoped I could have gotten a couple with mine. That was... It's a Jamestown. <laughs> it's oh. Alan's to turn. Mm. Edmonton Police. Here. <laughs> to the library. Ring, ring. Okay, focus up. In an unusual attempt to engage oh, members, the Braddock, Pennsylvania Library announced that in 2017, they would begin the lending out blank. <laughs> Type in your lives now. <laughs> This is a real hard mode. Do you go for like points or do you go for the joke? Yes. <laughs> Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Come on, Foxy. <laughs> I can't spell. <laughs> we, we've established that. <laughs> I think that's how we will believe that anyway. Okay, seek the truth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Floppy. Oh, two, um, toss not between the two. There's two there on toss. Hey man, it's better than Floppy Sfangs. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> floppy Quangs. Yeah, that's not how you spell foreign literature. Let's see what everybody selected. Lit Reacher. <laughs> Video games. Wow. Look at all Dang those it. points. Well, that's off to you. Porno. Nah. Eh. <laughs> I got that. Yeah, I was going to say that. Go fish. Nah, that's too easy. Nah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh god damn it. Wow, oh, God damn it, I was tossing up the screen that and go Giant puppets. That was the one I gave Ninja extra points to. Went there. <laughs> Fuck you all. Yes, I couldn't spell literature, all right? <laughs> literature. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't go with words you can't spell them. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should get this one. Celebrity tweet. In January 2012, <laughs> Justin Bieber oh, God tweeted, damn it. I love blank. Enter your lies oh, now. Uh, 2012. The book was so different then. Yeah, yeah, right? That was like fucking eight yeah, years ago. Yeah, eight years, years ago. <laughs> Still the same shit hollow as it is now. But eight years worse, ago, so eight he was just way more Nazis. <laughs> Hurry, use the lie for me, button. Way, way more Nazis. Hey, there's 17 people watching. Yay. <laughs> we, lo we lost three. We lost three. Uh, uh, we gained one. <laughs> yeah. Ham diggers. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm going to go with a safe one on this one. Eating ass. <laughs> All right. Pick what? Oh, Canada. Uh, no. Woof. God damn it, Scott. Whoa. Scott, you're so oh, dishonest. God, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, well, well done. You. Well done. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ah, that was my other guess. Uh, uh, not your finest effort. <laughs> and his legs. The fuck? He really, really likes ARM CPUs. <laughs> um, I work across okay. the street from ARM. Well, what risk. the hell? <laughs> X86 for life, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't have any Intel inside. We can. 
can know that. Round right? two where all point values are yeah, going. yeah, he has very ah. little info. <laughs> All right, Scott. Real, real, saggy. Saggy. real scary. Lord of the Rings. I thought it dip. said real saggy. Damn it. <laughs> real saggy. <laughs> John Key, the former New Zealand Prime Minister, made an official statement in 2014 in which he confirmed that he is not a blank. Write your lies now. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mir thought of something real funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Patrick's got a good one. <laughs> I think I just made one way too easy. Okay. If someone says Australian, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> That, uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> just for the idea. sake of it. Oh, is that one? I misread Reptile Alien okay, as Reptile Hen. Okay, let's take a look. Is he a robot? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I remember hearing something about that, though. Uh, yeah, is no, he no. a hobbit? <laughs> Bitch, explain Bitch, to me again. Bitch, he's not a hobbit. Oh, man. He's an oral humidifier. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ask Guardian. Oh. Today, okay. no. Ask Guardian. <laughs> right. I think that was. Yeah. Wisely, he. Made I remember that one. <laughs> right. And you fools believed him. <laughs> that's because he's. That's because he's a mammalian alien. If you read the transcript, it's just hiss, 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 hiss. <laughs> Snake jazz. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the 70s were a simpler time and smellier. The Federal mm -hmm. Aviation Administration is the only U.S. government mm. agency that has its own blank. All right, type in your lies. Shit. Damn it. I might should know this. Um... Oh. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. I think I might be close. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Don't quote me on this. Museum? Theme song! <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I forget, how, how, did, how, did, it, how did it go again, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> go go F A A A do 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 okay. go go F A A A. That's it. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> Truly a song of its time. I am pretty sure I'm wrong with this. No. Lie. Yep. Huh. <laughs> nah. Exemption. Exemption, Mr. Fostog. Exception. <laughs> Exception. <laughs> ah, that sounded legit, man. Wow, that was very persuasive. Yeah. Oh, wow. That it was, man. Oh, fuck off. Hey! Yeah. I'm just go, go, F-A-A-A! You body morphin, F-A-A-A-A! Damn it. Woohoo! <laughs> that's wrong. And Mr. Elite beat me. <laughs> Mr. Elite? That's his new name. <laughs> What's it gonna be, man? <laughs> Mr. Elite! The Mr. Thirteen Party. Fun, too, that's why. Right. Let's see what we got. A woman in Edmonton was right. issued a ticket in 2017 after she was caught driving while wearing blank. Okay, enter your lies. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh. Alright. Uh, Let's see how many I'll get with this one. I don't know, did you spell it right or use the correct word? I haven't been very good. It's a game <laughs> I think I spelled it correctly this time. 
<laughs> While wearing showing her boobs. Yes. While wearing showing her boobs. <laughs> See, you see, why well, you gotta put him like one where I'm like, I wanna believe. I, 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 I wear beaver constantly. <laughs> <laughs> While wearing beaver. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you guys think. Show Bob. I know I'm wrong, but whatever. Mm. Oh! Dang it! Oh. Audience! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Worth a shot. Ah. Canadian on Canadian violence. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, that? oh God damn it. Ooh. Yeah, is first suit two words or one word in this? Would you believe? Nope. What? How do you wear a ferret? Once. On one. I think you yes. can only do that once. <laughs> you know, you're squeezing <laughs> real tight. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dude, okay. what type of ferret technology do you fuckos have? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, ask, Ed, ask Edmonton. Well, it's an Alberta thing. It's your last chance at points, and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. Uh, <laughs> challenge accepted. Oh shit. Ah, screw it. Stan Lee dropped a weird bombshell. At one time, noted celebrity <laughs> Blank wanted to play Blank in a movie. Write your lies now. Um, hmm. Let's try this. Ah, uh, the double ones. <laughs> Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was my oh, verbal that? shrug emoji. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I think mine's more of a personal fantasy, but whatever. Okay. All right. Where's Ooh. the truth? Camps. <laughs> Two stripes. I think I actually know this one. Yeah, I, it's... Several of those are legit. I mean... Oh, I would like There's that a one. lot of those that are legit. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised... I'm, I'm very glad that no one put a DC character in there, but I'm also a little disappointed. Right, yeah, yeah, there's this. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, bomb. well done, well done. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I was tempted to do that one. Oh. Yay! Oh, yeah! Oh. The spell's name right. <laughs> nice, Foxy. Hmm? Yeah. I got someone. Oh, who This is the truth. Oh, See? Yeah, okay. I thought See, he, yeah. he was, like, um, yeah. not yeah, Among Us in 2009, but I don't know. Man in the mirror. That doesn't matter, it's just, um, uh, Stanley re relaying, relaying that story. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Not last yeah. place. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, well done, I, 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 I am not the best liar. Six, <laughs> but... Scott, six likes Michaud. Yeah, Ben, me and you were naked and naked the whole time on the bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear you from not in last place, Jill. It's because you're just so honest. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Only Jordan? got one leg. Okay. <laughs> Jordan, you've been doing pretty good in these games lately. Though, yeah. Yeah. And any any of the trivia-based stuff, I stand a chance at. See, I told everyone, if we let him win a few, he'll enjoy shit more. Yeah, I hate yeah. it. Yeah. That's the worst. <laughs> Best personality, Ben. <laughs> I got your personality right here. He's most gullible. <laughs> and, uh, my Oxy Rocket League. Fire. Rocket League, where you find just like Yes, it. yes. Oh, oh shit, nice. Mr. Alert, you no no more Rocket League, you're going cold turkey. <laughs> yep. I haven't, I haven't stole it back in January, so I haven't been playing it for
I bought it on a oh, humble bundle, so I can't refund it. <laughs> I got a copy Fox from Foxy. Know all now, uh, just from Mr. Foxdog bought it for me, so it sucks to be him. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, drawing game. Uh, I bought it for a lot of people. <laughs> I, I also heard back about my Rust refund, and I got denied. That's what you get for spending, like... Nine hours and they're looking at pixelated dicks, right? <laughs> I kind of wish I kind of wish I think I got I it to had... run once. When Russ came out was I the same time. Yep, yeah, this is a game. Try it again later. <laughs> Never did. Russ came out the same time as uh, Mozilla introduced their Rust programming language, and about half my Twitter feed was Mozilla employees, and the other half was tech journalists. I had yeah, no idea what anyone was tetanus, talking about. <laughs> and then you got tetanus. <laughs> Every young boy wants the tetanus. <laughs> tetanus? All right. Don't be anti. Oh, <laughs> is that really the room code? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just going to be Sco. Santa Cruz operation. <laughs> P17, okay. And there's a penguin and there's a little devil thing. I don't know if you can, but this this makes me want to punch a kazoo. Yeah, we'll go watch some Who's Flintstones. Who's strong, bad in the bunny suit? You, yeah. you, you, can, you, can, you can totally punch kazoo. <laughs> wow. We're drawing. Diddle Valley. Wait, that's a different town. Diddle Valley. Uh, it's a suburb of Civic Doodle. It's 10 miles away yeah, from that churches one's not and allowed schools. on Twitch. Yeah. Town beautification initiative. Remember, non-volunteers can still make a difference by joining the audience. The mayor wants to turn all the plain old everyday walls in the town into inspiring works of community art. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Pat. Hi, That's not my name, sir. People. And I know just where to start. Right here. Uh-oh. As you can see, this mural is already in progress. Yeah, the city council was supposed to agree on what to paint, but this is as far as they got before their 11-month recess. In my day, Your face is as far as they got. It. This dude we sounds like he's been, like, smoking cigarettes for, like, here. since he was so born. Are you, you saying he's a bit recessed? Drawing, and your fellow volunteers yeah. will yeah. vote on who made it better. Extra re... Oh, oh shit. Who's the P17? Timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, everybody. Ready? Nope. Set? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, go! Damn it. Oh, shit, it's me. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's you. <laughs> While our artists work, the rest of you can express your feelings about each drawing with the buttons of the device. Poo, 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 just click it on the poop emojis. Ah, there's two snails. And you're a snail. Time's running out. Finish up quick. Oh, God damn it. Both me and Vet went for the same thing. Blaming snails. Undecided voter. You all. Eh, go the curry snail. Come on. Rocket power snail. Rocket snails. Rocket power snail. snail. Game deciders. <laughs> Call me. Yes. <laughs> With your fucking S car. Oh, Stop. S car squish. S car blow. Of course, the audience's voice must be. Dang it. <laughs> audience, who you love. Damn it. Hey, that's what Ven wins. That's the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hearts. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Still, Dang it. Still didn't win. <laughs> the people have spoken. Oh, yeah. See what you two can do. 
It's Foxy on Allen. <laughs> Speed oh. snails. Uh, no, no. <laughs> oh man. So snails do, do they fall under insect with the no exoskeleton or someone someone has a tablet. No, no they're uh because they're slugs, right? Like they're mollusks. Yeah, they're sluts, man. Slugs. <laughs> yes, they're sluts. <laughs> Slutty snail, you <laughs> dirty, dirty snail. <laughs> Sliding around all snaily like you're like oh, I see what you're up oh, to. Oh shit! Yeah, we get we get the rocket snails. All right, all right. Rocket I see it. snails. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. I I, I don't I, I understand. Is that like a me. helicopter or a? It's a jet snail. Jet snail radio <laughs> bailcher. Yeah, dude. <laughs> snails in the city. Oh shit! Oh, I'm up God. next. Audience votes in. <laughs> I voted for you, Foxy. Aww. Oh, come on! <laughs> you gotta pity Fox. No, Rocket Snail. <laughs> rocket Snail. Oh. Well, it's not the Rocket Snail, it's whatever the hell was above it. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Alright. Yeah, see, see, see we're deep style. into game design at Go. this point. Um, Alright. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Okay. We're, 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 we're taking the field. Nope. Where are we going with oh this? no! It's hovering over a waffle lion. And snail <laughs> on the right is hovering over what I can only assume to be a seizure. Chicken? I either that or a... no. <laughs> Bad touch. I have no clue. <laughs> okay, which one looks more delicious? Yeah, I'm gonna one go with the two. chicken. Let's go with the chicken. That was supposed to be another spiky smell. That failed miserably. <laughs> it's a chicken. That looks like the thing they shot in that movie where they're in the Antarctic. And... The thing? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would play Rocket, a game of Rocket League where, like, someone is the thing and they just, like, turn into the dog. Wilfred Brimley comes in. Oh, dude. Oh, it's oh, G win. Oh, G tied with. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. On red. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just like so many rednecks, I pulled it out. Scott Van. Oh, hell, I just... Hmm. I can say John's already on the pickles. It's so what I do. I poo. <laughs> what is my purpose? Poop. 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 <laughs> Delicious brown chunky food. Damn it. It's voting time. What the fuck am no, I saying? 196 poops. <laughs> my poop was not as mighty. <laughs> and the other one's 200 and something. Oh. <laughs> so much poop. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> fuck it, that one. So much poop. Shoop to poop. <laughs> I mean, the one on one. It's like heart or. Let's see if we get more poop in it. It's hind fiber and snail. <laughs> snail. Hey, count them up. Add in the audience. <laughs> eh. Nah. <laughs> Scott. You're full of shit, bud. <laughs> <laughs> close. Next up. Go. Okay. Uh, Give me something decent to work with. Um. I don't know, man. It's a snail flying past a Yoshi egg, and. <laughs> There's something pissing on that chicken. 
Now it's just turning into scat porn with snails. A stabby scat porn. <laughs> Quite stabby. I can think of what the title would be, but I can't say it on screen. Rocket poop. <laughs> Burden in you bring like a... Burning poop. Burning poop. <laughs> Got that one. Gotta rhyme poop with poop, man. That's how you do. Yeah, no, I was thinking about doing like poop spelt backwards, though. What did the audience think? Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, okay. Alan, your poop was inferior. <laughs> Go <Up> figure. <laughs> Apparently, your shit stuck. Um... Oh, God. All right. Here we go. I know you like to think your shit don't stink. More than a feeling. More than a stink poop. Don't hold in your farts, kids. They turn into <laughs> That's how you snails. spontaneously combust. Yeah. <laughs> Let them out, especially in crowded elevators. Do you know who held in a poop one time? It's voting time. Hitler. <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's, it, honestly, it's, it's hard to tell the difference. Um... <laughs> yeah, at this point. I'm just saying, man. The, the, Plus the, audience. the bottom of that photo is ripe for Sonic the Poop Hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Hey, it's I'm going Super Saiyan. Get it on Canada. <laughs> Gotta go fast. That's what Poop says. <laughs> chicken Poop. Oh, hail the Chicken Poop. Poopy Chicken. I'm kind of afraid at this point I'm going to have to watch the Sonic movie. <laughs> Let's see if you can remember how to draw him. <laughs> By the looks of it, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the hell was that other one? That's legit. Is there nothing done with the other one? That's, uh, that's legit. That's, uh... <laughs> Don't go that. <laughs> looks better than that uh, uh, first trailer, man. Let's be honest. Um, yeah. Yes, let's be honest. Listen, I, I, when, when have I ever drawn Sonic the Hedgehog with a mouth? With the teeth. <laughs> the shell and the boost. <laughs> let's count those votes. Audience. Yep. Gotta go fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Scott got one vote. <laughs> Thanks. And you got the poopies. Nobody move. I think our painting is complete. Nailed it. Still needs a title. Use your device to see one. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'd play this game. Yeah. I think we all know what the tail's gonna be. Yeah, Scott lost. <laughs> Wait, is that not the title? <laughs> It can be. <laughs> what? Oh, dude. All right. Which one is it going to be? Let's vote. Poopsie chicken. <laughs> Poopsie chicken. <laughs> it's like a whoopsie doodle, but with poo. <laughs> Poopsie chicken, do you want to go play around a round of poopsie chicken? It's like, no. Please, daddy, no more poopsie chicken. <laughs> poopsie chicken's a game you play with captives. Add in the audience. Well, huh? Rocket snail okay. and poopsie chicken. Time for the 
Oh, yep. Poopsie oh. chicken. Oh, oh my! Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I guess we're committed. Then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is, we need to sell that underwear. We and need that, to sell that underwear. Now we know how to yes. trigger the underwear image. Spam poop. What's our next task, hey, sir? still that oh, last. Treat for our artist, <laughs> That's not. You know what? Naildred. What is it? Naildred. 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 Why don't we have a TV, Naildred? I a saw bird. a bird. It was pretty. Kicks ass. Oh no. Oh no. I want to fill the town hall with oh, not this. I want to fill the town hall with nails. Yeah, just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. <laughs> Here we go. That's where we're going to drop. I've got no clue who that is. I know, man. Second cousin. Twice oh, removed. God. And then put back once uh. more. Of the I'm not door. really following this either. Put him back in the womb. He's not done yet. Everybody start by drawing the face your face was put back <laughs> once more. Use your imagination. Uh, once was the plan that made the So what are we doing? Go on. Draw the left face. Okay. Uh, the left face. Oh, oops. Um. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shiver with the art styling, so. Man, somebody just gave up on that middle top one, didn't they? Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> still going. It's still being filled in. <laughs> so many good choices here. Mm -hmm. Let's vote on whose is best. I don't know, man. Testicle bits. Got a nice ring to it. <laughs> Oops, chicken. Arise, chicken. Arise. Oops, chicken. Someone didn't follow the instructions. No bit. Yeah, I heard the instructions. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to do strong bed so bad. But no. And the audience? <laughs> no one wanted nipple face. No. Oh, thank you, Scott. Love you, Scott. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's add the middle face. Uh -huh. uh. Not very happy, uh... The all-seeing eyes. Chicken, arise. Arise, chicken. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Billywitchdoctor.com What? If you press backspace, you can uh, join back in and it'll put you back to your character. Okay. Mm. I've never had that happen before. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go that one for sticking him back in the room. Stick him back! <laughs> <laughs> Let him cook for another few months. In? Uh-oh. What? Oh, very little. Very no, no, no. No one wanted Super Saiyan Hitler? Okay. Now draw the last face. I was going to think about Okay. Hmm.
Okay. <laughs> okay, vote. Shit took a turn there, didn't it? Run away! <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Run away! It's a giant egg in a We have chicken, chicken Vegeta egg. Chicken, chicken egg. <laughs> chicken run egg. That. Chicken the fuck egg. Chicken flower egg. Chicken <laughs> boxy thing egg. Chicken mind egg. Chicken mind egg, man. <laughs> that's like a that's that's a superhero. See him, see, see me. Plus the audience. Okay. Ooh, appetites. No, oh, a tie. Come on. Shut down the government. Yay! Oh. <laughs> I get to break all the ties. No. How about I pick this one? Super chicken <laughs> egg. Say it. Which one? Yes. <laughs> ah, Finally, finish this off in any way you want. I trust you God all damn. implicitly. Okay. Pretty perfect. Oh, concentration. I, I can. It's perfect as <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think I've made it perfect, but we'll leave it at that. Bunch of science. <laughs> Why are some of them missing the Vegeta face? A lot of them. Are, yeah. yeah. This game's just like yeah. YOLO. <laughs> it just, it just, uh, yeah. Yeah, it uh, rolled back. Yeah. I mean, you actually saw it on stream flicker. Like, it had the pictures and it went rolled yeah. back. Even though on our screens it showed it correctly. Yes, At least on my screen it did. Well, I did a genuine Jackson Pollock. So. Well, there was no way for it to unfuck that, apparently. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> high, huh? hmm. We still got a tie. Lovely. Let's admire Which one? Work, shall we? Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, it showed up again. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Look at the luggable. That could be a CD art. The votes tell a different story. What's with the compass? This is the future liberals yeah. want. Uh, it's, uh, right, uh, uh, shot right to the bottom. Worse. Yeah, <laughs> gee. <laughs> I'm slightly beating hey, Scott. Joe. Gee. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Get those balls right in spot. What goes <laughs> yours? Alright, we're doing that, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to Doodle Valley. That place is terrible. No, you're thinking of Diddle Valley. Different place. <laughs> there. Done. Really. It, that tree says, kill me. Pain tree. The golden pain tree. <laughs> It's made of the, nightmares. Oh God, please no more, Trey. Nightmares and tree. That, that's the two things everyone needs. Hey man, Doctor Who told us that we might become tree people if we don't stop polluting. It's true. Oh no, children, the nightmare train's gotta oh. pull back in the station. <laughs> Hmm. A station? It's like a regular station, but with more fun and happiness and nightmares. <laughs> we hope we have provided you with the best possible worst nice nightmare fuel that you could. Uh, we haven't wish for this because evening. you haven't kissed Nicolas Cage yet. 
You haven't done it. Oh. Get in there. <laughs> Bit, with, with tongue. With tongue. And remember, before you go to bed tonight, hug your parents and look them in the eyes and say the word punish. Good night, that everyone. Just the mood. We'll see. Not you for me. Uh, no, nope. not for me. Not is going here, baby. Bye, everyone. We'll hang out in Discord buddy. in the after after shows, and we'll see you there. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.